San Fernando Milang Absheni, it is the last day of the group stages of the 2022 Total Energies Women Africa Cup of Nations. There we see Uchamein Siopo Sinwe, Hilda Machaia celebrating that victory that they got against Nigeria. The Super Falcons, who are the defending champions of this tournament in their opening match. And of course, they nailed a 3 1 victory against Burundi. Amukhalang Mutao was one of those goal scorers. Tembi Khatana. So, of course, it's going to be all to play for today as Banyana Banyana take on the debutants of Botswana. They are currently the table toppers. And for Botswana, they have the prospect of becoming the only debutants in this competition to progress to the quarterfinals. And in terms of Banyana Banyana, they need at least a point against Botswana to ensure that they finish top of the group and, of course, face Tunisia in the quarterfinals. Finals. Without a doubt, this is a match to play for. I am Oli Zondo, and in terms of our build-up today, it's coming to you live and direct from our Auckland Park studios right here in Johannesburg. I do have with me Osimpiwe Luzuga and Yenok Gloria Brown as we take a look at that highly contentious Group C. Banyana Banyana topping it on six points. Nigeria, Botswana, three apiece. Burundi, currently nothing. But again, Luzu, if anything were to happen here in terms of Burundi beating Nigeria, they would also be in contention to move through to the quarterfinals. All I can say is that this group has always promised us fireworks because in four matches we've seen 14, uh, 15 goals and so far um, in level with Group B which has played um, uh, six matches. So I'm a goal as a because everybody needs to prove a point. Nigeria needs to prove a point to their home to say we are still great. We are not nine time champs. We've been there. Madam, we've been there. We've been showing we are big goal. So today it's going to be the same thing. And Nebanyana Banyana also going to show Guti, we are good at this, we are getting better at it, we want to qualify for the next World Cup. And, and what a wonderful achievement it would be for Botswana, the mayors, to go through to the quarterfinals in their first appearance on this continental showpiece. Oli, if people have been watching women's football, they would be seeing the rise of the mayors in each and every competition they participated in. This is one team whose development speaks for itself. And you can see the results as well. They shocked Banyana Banyana in 2019, eliminating them from the Tokyo Olympics. And here they are again. A battle between these two sides is always fierce, ferocious. It is always tight. And today will be no different. So yes, um, two Kosafa regions representing the region very, very well. Um, we also know that Zambia is in the mix. And, and we're very happy to find ourselves being pitted against a team of such great stature and caliber. It was so good there to see the Banyana team arrive. Uh, and also they've got now that possibility of making sure that it's three out of three and walking away with a full complement of nine points. A three out of three uh, says to them who they want to play in the next round. That is very key for them because they want to make sure they get a position that they'll be able to match and advance to the next stage. Because at the end of the day now, it's four teams where else in previously it has been uh, three teams. Now it's four teams that get to qualify um, for, 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 for the World Cup. And if you look at this Botswana team, the coach has made sure to, to pick up players from the same teams. Double action is there. Tom Chindro, Township Rollers is there. Prisons FC, uh, Botswana Defence Force. Those are the teams that make up um, the team and the squad of Ibotswana because the coach wants to see synergy, wants to see relationships. And so far, that's what's been helping them to be where they are today. Botswana coming into this match knowing that their opener, they put, uh, beat a Burundi 4-2. And of course, they suffered that 2-0 loss to Nigeria. But right now, they've got a chance of making sure that at least they salvage a draw against uh, Banyana Banyana, if not go to the extent of defeating them. Look, there's all to play for for Botswana. They really would want to get past Banyana Banyana. Three points is really on their minds. It's critical for them. They want to cause an upset. They want to make sure that uh, they... they 
they they also one of the teams that are, are progressing into the next round. There's really a lot to play. In actual fact, this group is still very open. Mm -hmm. And and, and it, it, it gave Coach Desra an opportunity to be able to choose who she wants to play for. It's either you go out there to say, OK, I'm going to win this or I'm playing a, a draw, which is good enough for her. But I think Botswana's got other things on their mind. They want to make sure they go all out and, and, and become second in that group, if not at least the best third finisher. Absolutely. And of course, uh, remember that these Group C matches are going to be simulcast. There will be another match uh, that is uh, taking place on our SABC Sport DTT channels. And that is Nigeria, the Super Falcons 11 time winners. They'll be taking on Burundi. For them also, quite critical to win, knowing that they started this competition on the back of a loss. And it was, of course, South Africa that inflicted that loss. But also, they are without their star player, U Ashwala, who plies a trade in Barcelona and of course uh, she suffered that injury and went back to Spain but that is of course the Nigerians uh, coming through to the stadium and uh, making sure that they want to also walk away with these three points and uh, many saying it would be an easy win against Burundi. It would be an easy win uh, if Nigeria picks up where they left off with a great score against Botswana uh, with a fresh team because the front six for in Nigeria against uh, uh, Botswana they were refreshed. Odega came on because Ashwala moving away it means uh, if Yoma went to striker and she scored a goal as well for them against Botswana Odega can be on the right uh, we saw uh, uh, Payne um, also coming to, 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 to play left back because Plumcha was off so I think Ukosh realized how he could move the squad around and make sure there's fluidity. I saw them playing with so much smile on their faces. I mean, Burundi is a team that surprises many. You, you, you look at these youngsters, they are arguably the youngest side in the AFCON with an average of about 21. And that speaks to uh, the way they even play. They're full of energy. They have no fear. They're very gutsy. Yes, they've gone down, but they've not gone down without a fight. They will continue to fight in this tournament and they've represented their country very well. So come what may for Burundi today, I think for me they go away with my vote as having been one of the teams that impressed me in this tournament. I think that's uh, what's very impressive about this group is that no one can say that they are out of this completely. Burundi can stage a miracle victory against Nigeria and find themselves in contention to move to the quarterfinals. After the ad break, we hear from head coach of the Banyana Banyana team, Desri Ellis, and we also give you the starting lineups for both of the teams. And I can tell you that there are a lot of changes. Heartburn symptoms detected. Quickly, follow me. Burning feeling in the chest and bitter taste are symptoms of heartburn. Try Gaviscon Double Action. It neutralizes excess acid, creates a protective barrier, and lasts up to two times longer. Gaviscon Double Action. Expert heartburn relief. It's a juicy kaboom! Make it sweet with Beacon and win a share of 500,000 rand in awesome prizes. To enter, buy any two participating Beacon suites, enter the USSD or WhatsApp line and follow the prompts. Do you ever think of what your skin goes through every day? In game time and play time. Dove Men Plus Care protects and cares for your skin with 48 hour protection and triple action moisturizer. Try new Paradontax toothpaste. If you spit blood when brushing, plaque bacteria could be attacking your gums defenses, which could lead to worse. Bad breath, swollen gums, and even tooth loss. Help stop the clock on early gum disease now. With new Paradontax, it's four times more effective than regular toothpaste at removing plaque bacteria, the main cause of bleeding gums. For healthy gums and strong teeth, try new Paradontax toothpaste. My fellow South Africans, Simba has that thing to turn family meetings into a remix. I see food and a meeting. Simba, rose with flavor, you know it a thing.
Sikata zama saina seto, puti skikuza izi kweshele. Kupo ngobe lana kwe skweshele mkutu ini yo pefumula kubangu inana ganyi no kweshele. Hau bantu, uge waizami ACC, manji siya tola gala njongo mutu puzwayo. Noma ngabe uketa lene ipili selchoso zayo noma isirap ikoni ACC ya gilungeli. I ACC isebenza ngokshesha kubulwa na mafini la nezi kweshele kubuksizu zizu ngono futi. Sebenzisa i ACC e ipili selchoso zayo noma ngumuto puzwayo. When it comes to headache relief, choose new Nurofen Express Liquid Capsules, the first Nurofen Liquid Capsule in South Africa. Unlike a regular tablet, Nurofen Express Liquid Capsule has a thin seam which enables fast release. For fast targeted pain relief, use new Nurofen Express Liquid Capsules. Unleash the speed of liquid. Look, it's good to keep the momentum going and uh, getting a third victory in a row um, really gives a lot of confidence. Um, you know, we're always looking at improved performances and this one will be no different where we look to get the three points and to stay top of the group and to look for improved performances as well. Thank you so much, Mishi. Good luck. A total of six changes that have been made by Desri Ellis. Uh, looking at that, uh, Janine Fadvik, this is cap number 181 for her. 181 and counting. She does change, chase the record of uh, uh, Ahmed Hassan, who holds it at 184, uh, who is the, the, the longest ever or highest ever serving uh, player for the Egyptian national team. So that would be a great feat for Janine Van Vaik if she chases and breaks that record. So she's still got three more games to go to equal it. And uh, we wish her the best of luck in, in, in this particular match. Seeing her in the lineup as well um, for her in this match would be one of those she want to put her right foot forward. You're looking at the tactical formation as well. They come out with a 4-4-2. Kuale on the left-hand side, and you, you, you're seeing a, a, a Holweni on the right-hand side. A changed midfield, but it's in defense where we definitely have to throw our eyes there uh, in terms of Mbane and Van Vake. That combination is one to look out for, and whether or not uh, Botswana can capitalize on the slowness of Banyana Banyana's defense. I mean, we take a look at the number of changes. Is there maybe a feeling of uh, an undermining of Botswana coming into this uh, match? I don't think so. I think because uh, Botswana has probably analyzed the past two matches, the Banyana Banyana, now they've got players to look out for. So now, because these are the players that haven't gone in, except uh, U, U, U Linda has played two games but only started one. And U, 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 U Colossa came on and she played only 28 minutes. Hwali uh, uh, hasn't played, so Janine hasn't played, so it will be only on the past, how they've seen these changes play before. Because these same players have got fluidity with each other. They've got their relationships with each other. The changes, Zebanyana Banyana. So, coach, iteka fambanjela paya. Now, it's how Botswana will respond to the changes. Absolutely. Edofuteng Chablisayo about this encounter is that for the first time in this tournament, we'll have two female head coaches battle against one another. And of course, for Botswana, their head coach is Khaile Tohong Kutlisang. Let's hear what she has planned for the Banyana Banyana team. Um, a big match, uh, a match that will um, motivate us going to the next stage. Um, I think I'll, we will just take it as a preparation uh, for Morocco game. Uh, I think uh, generally that's what I'll, I'll say. Uh, Thank you so much. Thank you. Botswana have made uh, three changes uh, from the starting lineup that have uh, faced uh, e in Nigeria. And then also when we take a look at there, it's so good to see Udi Tebe starting Sazuguti the last time around. She didn't. Yeah, she didn't. And it, it actually denied them with, especially on the left, because she's naturally left-footed. But seeing her come back in, it means it will now allow Tolagele to spend more time between the two centre-backs because she fancies running on the shoulders of the defenders. And whenever she cuts in from the left, she's able to cross from there and if she's central the is able to give them the width going wide and I think Radia Kanyo uh, coming inside she's going to be the mastermind in that number 10 because she can score she can pass and with Johannes 
coming on to the right. That front four can do anything, literally, because Radia Kanyo can play on either left or right. Same thing as Itebe can go and be an inverted winger. And if you look at how we've lined up, will we be able to withstand the pace of them? Because Tolakele runs everywhere. And if they put Radia Kanyo uh, as a number 10, it means they're giving her a free role. And we know she's nippy and she's able to be fast. The only catch is at the back at law. But you can see Utlachile, they've taken her out because she was one of the slowest in that centre-back position. And how Fetoki comes in and there's more stability that she brought, especially against the game against Nigeria. And not only that, we're looking at Posija, who has the inside info of South African football. It's important to have a player like that on your side. She's been very instrumental, commands her area very well as a goalkeeper, and she really would be uh, the player that uh, Banyana Banyana would have to make sure they either expose by using her frailties or her weaknesses, which are also very minimal. Um, so you, you, you definitely are finding a very well-balanced side here that has been put forward by the coach. I mean, even in her interview, she says, we, we're looking forward to the Morocco game. And that is the confidence of the coach. Yeah, it's the confidence of the coach. And if the coach is confident, it means they are focused as well. You look at Banyana Banyana also, any player you can pick on to come on the field. I'm just worried about their defense, though, Claw, because there hasn't been real fluidity between uh, uh, Janine, Mbane, and Kamete coming in. Because we saw when Kamete played in center back with Matlo in the last game, it was a bit difficult for them. I agree, Coach, and I, and I think it really does worry me, especially for Mane and Janine um, and Gamadi also playing in a, in a, in a, in a right-back position um, where normally um, Ramalerpe plays. But again, you're also looking at Desiree, looking ahead, in my opinion, by looking at this team that she puts forward. Oh, it's going to be a very interesting one. Banyana Banyana having made six changes. And for Botswana, they've made three changes. Remember that a spot in the quarterfinals beckons. And of course, in terms of the last four teams standing, they will book their place in the 2023 Women's FIFA World Cup that will be staged in New Zealand and Australia. In the other uh, channel that, uh, of course, is the SABC Sport 1, there is Nigeria taking on Burundi. Both of those matches kicking off at 10 p.m. We'll take a quick ad break. Oma Smuya, we start off with the first 45 minutes. Your mega hunger with the mega ribs to burger meal for only 69.90. Steers. The land, you make the world go round and can't afford to let pain get in your way. You need fast, effective pain relief that gets ready to work in 10 seconds on the go. It's the same grandpa you trust. Shinji style pain. Grandpa, trusted for over 100 years. It's the same trusted grandpa. Same quality, same quantity. Now in a sealed stick pack. Done. I know that meat looks tender, but not so much when your chest is burning. Remember the last time? Yeah, wow, Bob. The ring had been moving. Ngashi, in any situation, Ina gets to work in six seconds to relieve the six symptoms of heartburn. Do you know what makes great curry powder? Yeah. Great quality spices. Can you tell me what this is? Cl Clarifanda? <laughs> Coriander. Sure. Colors you too. Raja. You can't resist the mouth-watering aroma of Raja. Breathe. Because sometimes one big breath is all it takes. Hold. Breathe. Do you like your job? Yes, ma'am. Then where are my reports? No, man, I thought you Volkswagen. Melody, fever and headache. I did go so hard that you wash it. 
Try ipo zonke ye flu. Yak spane. No manini. No no go. Trust ipo zonke ye flu to release you from nine flu related symptoms, including headache and fever. Met lemon is a solver. Today is going to be a big day. What if today you score that winning try? Day. With Aquafresh confidence, today can be a big day. A big day. Commemorate Mandela Month with us on SABC. See, I was missed at you. Has been paid. I paid that bill. At Total Energies, we go the extra mile for you. with a ball of a circumference of 70 centimeters. Studs. On a grass-covered field. There's not only one football. There's not only one way to get closer to football. Orange. It is the Battle of the South taking place in North. And that is where Babiana Banyana up against Botswana to the demands of Botswana against Banyana Banyana. They managed to win the opening game by four goals to two. South Africa won the opening game by two goals to one. South Africa therefore played against Burundi, which uh, Botswana defeated by four goals to two. And it was a 3-1 victory for Banyana Banyana. Wasted chances. There were plenty of those in that encounter. But that is all water under the bridge because now Desri Ellis is thinking ahead and looking at what's going to happen going forward in this competition. Botswana, the debutants, they are looking to advance and be within the top three of this group here. Yeah. Because a miracle or biblical proportion has to happen for Nigeria to lose by a huge score margin for Burundi to be able to catch up with them. But anything is possible in football. We've seen a few changes being made here today by the coach of Botswana. As you have seen, Desri Ellis also resting some players and giving some a run here today, including that one of Janine van Veik amongst those as well. As you can see, Lauren there amongst those watching from uh, the uh, stands. The team manager for Banyana Banyana as they are all enjoying a moment in Morocco. So far, Morocco, the only nation to have won all their three matches. They won the opener 1-0. The second game, they had to fight hard, winning by three goals to one before also getting a 1-0 victory with a Shabak scoring in all those three matches as far as uh, Morocco is concerned. And she's sitting very kindly at the top as the top scorer with three goals. Biana does get a start, the first start of this competition. Huale also getting a first start of the competition. Biana came in as a sub in a previous encounter. Before we do start for today's match, as we know, we do going to have uh, the national anthem for both nations. But very important for Banyana Banyana, they do have a goalkeeper in Botswana who knows them very well. How will they fare today? The last four meetings, two in South Africa, two draw matches. Now it is time for us to go through national anthems. And shortly, Tuli will be joining us. Oh, 
And now the national anthem of Botswana. Loge, Amatu Loge, Esis, Loge, Shengobage, Isintoge, Esiselega, Umsalo, Oxinage, Gonage, O Krups, Shengobago, Bonage, Tempoge, Elesis, Ela Kelapanage, Utesri, Elisu, Gutigas, Conage, in Kukuko, in Kukuko, Zis Tupa, Osobonaga, Gutig, Namsanje, Conage, O Jenini, Fanveke, Utonaga, Kepu, number one hundred and eighty one, Yenage, O Jenin, Fanveke, Lonaga, Olunago, Shincho, Olozuke, Uyanage, Umke, Shikanjalo Futi, no Ramalepe, Age, Koge, Zonage, in Kuku. Namsanje, Okonage, La Panage, Nomfula, Ohuale, also with Salage, La Panage, Osagotini, Esoselage, Pampi, Lotago, Antile Samini, or Salage, Namsanje, Umsaloge, West Tatu, Oyonage, Lem Saloge, Yayoge, E. of Konige, La E. Morocco, Katige, Naboge, La Pau, Biane, or Colossage, Nayafuti, or Tolage, Unkenage, Namsanje, Akalege, Umsalo, Nage, Usalage, O Kala, Shangobago, Bona, Mashago, Captain, Yabonage, La Pau, Captain, O Bosita. Oh, last guy, I'm so peggy, let them forget, let's see, so let me give them African cover. Oh, Salela ke ima melodi sandausi, la eka ya ke uye na ke ukapte ni hola ke leke mpukanti ke na baba kasa ba inkozi kakulu ke la pana ke oti tebe ke bakona ya bona ke ama officials ke e tu ke lawa e v a r Bruno konge kuzogo nziwa istinse ke ugo tige aliko iputa elenziwa ke lomzalo ngoba ke yongindo komele ke ihambe ngendela. It's always been a very interesting one. You can see there, Khaole Toho and Kutli Sang, the coach of Botswana, made three changes in the starting 11 today. We see the Tebe. She made history becoming the first Botswana national team player for the women team to score at an Afcon tournament when she scored the opener in the first game when they won by four goals to two. One of the changes made here in the starting 11 today, you can see Uncle Amit is coming in as well. Some of the players to we'll talk about here for Botswana, Boseja will be key at all times. Now, Muchawe will be leading that particular pack in the defense uh, for the team of uh, Botswana here today against South Africa. They also bring the last of Sechan into the starting 11 for today. There's the table I was talking about there. Tolagel, a very dangerous player as well as Johannes does get a start today. Who can forget a player like Radia Kanyo, a very crucial player for the Botswana team as they do go forward. Mutalo came off the bench as a sub and scored the goal for South Africa via the penalty. She does get a start today. It is a second start of this year's competition. Really been there as a uh, starter also in the first game against Nigeria where she got the woman of the match as well for a performance which was a stunning performance overall from a South African point of view talking about Linda Motalo and uh, when you talk about Linda Motalo she does have a very good story when you talk about a family in particular a father is Johannes Motalo but uh, the father has a brother who used to play for the Yamakosi way back talking about one Banksy Lodi 
is related to her. So she does come from a historical family. 181st care for Janine van Veik. Mbane does return into the starting 11 as well. Same goes for Zamini as well as uh, Gamete moving from the left hand side to the right hand side of the defense for Banyana Banyana. And Janine van Veik takes over the Kempton Ambent from Rifile Jane who got uh, the play of the match in the last game when they played South Africa, which was against the Burundi. Very interesting game it was, I've got to say. Holweni came off the bench in that encounter. She does get a start today. Player from University of the Western Cape. All those in a starting 11 here today for the South African team. A teammate from the Western Cape University also, having gone to the bench to Inavar Mutau. Here is Tolagele. Still refueled to like it in a penalty. The Paul Payne nearly this time here for Botswana. And tidying up very early here for the South Africans at the back. These two countries do have a huge history over the years. South Africa and Botswana. Good dummy played now. Good run again against an infant vague. She has to do well to get that ball away. Historically speaking, South Africa and Botswana in the women game, they've played look at the numbers a total of 18 times in all competitions starting way back in the first one there was on the 19th of april in 2002 and that game was won by south africa by 14 goals to nil against botswana perinica pair was scored eight goals on a day against botswana there also some uh, huge pastings in between when South Africa played Botswana over the years, 10 0 victories, Nokomato scoring four goals in the tournament where she eventually became the top scorer in 2008. Went on to become the uh, went footballer of the year, Nokomato. So there's been some good stories. But there's only been one victory for Botswana against South Africa in the previous 18 matches between the two nations. And there you go to go back to the year 2011 on the 30th of April, to be precise was the day and that was when Botswana walked away one nil victorious Ramafifi amongst those in the squad was on a score sheet on a day in Polokwane and that was for the All-Africa Games qualifiers when they played a game that was to be hosted by Mozambique but then ever since then it has been South Africa dominating matches but of late Botswana have uh, turned things around a bit against Banyana Banyana. A draw in 2017. A narrow loss in 29, 2018. Where it was Jemin Soposin who scored a goal on 90 plus 5 minutes in that encounter. In Nelson Mandela Bay Stadium. There's Rielis. Match number 78 for her today as the head coach of Banyana Banyana. Great record she does have already since taking over as Banyana coach. That's the coach of uh, the Botswana team from Manga of Maung. She used to work as a uh, aircon and refrigerator technician before eventually moving on to become a coach. For me back then to now, Damete for South Africa. Here comes Jemin Soposinwe. Return ball now towards Gamete. Coming back to help out this time to get the ball away. Near side of a field for Botswana. Talking about Alessejo. Dudu Etzan Radiacano. Not a player from double action. Janine van Veik. Double action that prisons the ones that dominate when you talk about a number of players in this team. Chansey now for Siopo Senwe. Scott support on the far side, but she does play the ball short. Too short for the liking of any South African player to try and get to that ball. It was a chance for Tlamini. So only scored once for Banyana Banyana before. Looking for only a second international goal at Banyana level. And that just gone wide from Tlamini. Getting a second start of this competition. This is Holweni on your picture. Not a young player who's grown very well so coach Lulu will know these players very well because she was their coach at some stage at the under 17 level before they were promoted to Banyana Banyana your Zamin is of this world your Holwen is of this world so all these players have really grown and find themselves where they are at the moment having gone through the ranks there's the Tebe the history maker 
who scored the mayor's first goal at the Wafcon tournament. She's 20 years of age now from Khaboroni. Plebeps uh, was a top scorer at Region 5 at some stage. So she does have good reputation in scoring goals. Itebe was part of the 2018 team that played in a Kosafa tournament for the seniors, by the way, because it was one of that year. Started to bring the younger team in 2019, I beg your pardon. And they realized that we're going to play South Africa in two legged matches off for the second round of the Olympic qualifiers. They decided to go and play Slovakia, play friendly matches then. And they sent through the under 20 team to represent them in 2019 edition of the Kosafa tournament. And boy, oh boy, how well did they do? Isalena, who's now gone on to see herself going to the US, was the captain of the team. And Dile Zameni in goals for Banyana Banyana. Match number 62 for her. Mbane to Janine van Veik. It's a long history for her. Long, long history. Looking to go to a second World Cup. Almost went to a third Olympic Games before Botswana denied him a chance to go to Olympic Games in 2020. Khatana. Still Khatana. Cut back. Good ball. So South Africa. Chance in. And decides to build mountains. Kwale gets a first chance here and puts the ball all the way to the stands. From Hamulapo in Zebediela, the hometown of Juan Paseca Marco, the Orlando Pares player, and gets a chance and sends this one straight to the stands. Playing the football for a second division team in Spain. Tibi Khatana is well written there. She'll be leaving Spain now, going back to the U.S. Top scorer in the 2018 edition. Pretty open account this year. A lot expected from a young lady from Mutlaking. There's Rifilo Tolagele. A lot of people are talking about her. So many want to sign her. It's only a matter of time. Rifile Pezulu Tolagele from Khaborone, southeastern part in Botswana. Former player for the likes of Botswana Meat Girls. Also played for the under-17, under-15, under-20, respectively. Crushing in over 60 caps for the national team of Botswana. Player now doing duty at a Township Rollers. Talk about a run in uh, recent years for Botswana. Three goals in a 2021 edition of the Kosafa tournament. So she's been there. She has already scored twice this tournament, plus one assist. Plus, also got player of the match in a game against Burundi. She's a big player for this Botswana team. 26 years of age. South Africa, runners-up on five occasions. Four of those was in a tournament hosted like this one. The first time they were runners-up was against Nigeria in 1995. When they played their very first Kosafa, when they played their very first Wafcon tournament. But then it was played home and away basis. Played in a final against Nigeria, lost that one. Been a few finals twice. They lost also in a final, proper final, against Nigeria. Twice they lost in a final also against Equatorial Guinea. Can they be the bride and not the bridesmaid? Holweni. Easily put out of play on the near side of a field for Botswana. And one of uh, the senior players, Masejo Monzo, playing at the back for Botswana. Biana. Zamini. Yes, Huale. Back to Zamini. Mutalo. For South Africa. Maserame Linda Mutalo. Under pressure. Looks for opportunity. Playing the ball now. Khatana is in there. Biana gets the ball first now. Kamete. Chance for her to play the ball near side, Holweni. Still Holweni, Msawa, what they call it. Back again. Still alive, Botswana tidy up at the back. One thing that the Botswana have proven over the years is that defensively they are solid. They'll always go for those counter attacks. And if you look at recent matches, you realize just how the gap has been narrowed between South Africa and Botswana. No longer over 14 nil or 10 nil.
Oh, five nil. Oh, number one nil. Oh, two one. Manje Tulsi. And Campella get a Bruno get a Sisha get city get some coma or SAPC one year. I'm Zanzi and Fosho Jagoba get a Simbungale like Umbugelim, Sisha city get a Simpatelaga Umtaloga, Umkuluga, Namsanje, Oklina, a Lago, Krupsi, Jagoba gets born again, Kempo, Lassening is in Africa, Lisa Salaga, Kamete, Jagoba get Koba get Ipola. La Panaga Boxing Gotok, Kanad Gemajaga, Libuage, Nage, O Colossum, O Talaga, O Kalaga, O Kalaga, Umsalo, Jagobage, Katege, Alaga, Epenchini, M Salenige, Uaboge, Gescatike, Betalage, and Nayoge, La Panaga, E Purunti, Yabonaga, and Namsanche, Ekan Puge, Lessis, Lassenigis in Africa, Li Salel and Jogu, Lasuguti, Li Tetage, Lisseg, Pesu, Lugionaga, E Krupu, Noma, Liso Gretage, Lisseg, Gunam Patun, Kobage, Usokumbulu, Umsalo, Wabo. Fula, Lem Saloga, Bakum Pepansi, and Nigeria, and Gamakoli, Amabilim, Ewe Lotto, Gabasaga, Pintaga, Betalaga, and Epurunti, Babena Matuba Maniki, or Utiga, Bashamakoli, Amaniki, Lom Salogoto, Umsalo, Kinaga, O Pelaga, and Gaoge, O Utruani, Ingakoge, and South Africa, Iseske, La Panaga Pesulu, go six points, Katiga, Mopega, Leliswege, Lala Panaga, Ebotswana, and Amsanche. Kwa selega ngani shogu tige ilu kopuge umlanto nchengo bage Li thalage ogo kalage ili msalo Kotwa baso bona baso zbona ge ebenke na ge guona ge ama kota finalsi Nchengo bage inabo ge bengo bile ge umsalo Wabo ge be thalage na yoge i purunti ilo msalo ge wapela ge nkao ge ufotu Otona ge lege uye na ge o msali ge nkempela ge Owa yenza ge isi ntoke zense ge kudo o msalo Kota ge baso ge be thalage ini Nigeria En Nigeria ge yase ge ibashaya ge nkamakoli Amabili, Ekantenige, Ingakoge, Ebeno, three points, Yonage, Lapanage, E. Botswana, Kotoge, and Amtanjege, Asas, Gutige, Isinto, Ziso Hampaganja, Ninjagobage, Bobabi Liga, Bakashi, Bazan Zilege, and Kukugo, Enningism Africa, Lapemova, Tenin Fan Peki, Oyenage, Umsalige, O Kenilege, and Amtanje, O Colossa, O Munya Futi, Omsalige, O Kala, and Amtanje, Onamfula, O Huale, O Tolly Lituba, Kotoge, Wasa Ketanje, Gutige, Etule, Inyo. Zisa lelege la panage e sate lo pega le trupoli yinte asponeje ipola ge la ke la pautola ge le ke na boxi no acha utola ge le kato ge ipola ge la ke di pumanche ekele ni ge kwe pali le sobuya ge ilbe go panse gube ge ikol kiki e ya ke ge antile esa mini ya bona ge utola ge le akichima ge kwenzi ni ge le township rola zi la panage e botswana. Ona makoli ge ama biliglo mkutelo ane awashai ge ngezkati ge ebe thala ge nayo ge lapana ge ipurundi Eko pumla nto futi ge nkoba ge ikoli ge lo kala Elsha wege iliso ge lakona ge e botwana li thala ge giona ge ele mthalo u inkosi Ge nthela ge e ismanka ge lapana ge utola ge le une miyaka nche eu 26 ikpela Yabona ge lapemu ufa uba mpanani anoche ninfa nfeki also, Fanele by Bampe, Kine, and Goba, the Konabata, Labatatu, Abankos, Gakulu, Lekan Puge, Elasa, Botswana, and Kulumage, and Gaiga, Tolagele, Besagubage, Uyanage, Utitebe, Besagubage, Uyana Futige, Ratiakano, Bobata to go, Labatali, Bana Makolige, Asaba Shai, Legan, Chegobage, Beshage, Iburunti, Go, Fortu, Asponeche, Ogotige, Benson Shanige, Nam Sanche, Gobage, we are going to get E. Lizem. La se botswana liya tutuga ngempela ge ipola o shiro pruno guti ge iko enkulu asa abasa zazi kanga ne kanga ne she we abo na ge umesugo she go bage sebe kwa zige guti ge ba qualify em e banke ne ge gi ona imtalo ge iya yoge i wafkoni she go bage wa zuguti ge inga ba qualify asi ba be wa tage amakempu ba kala nchenge agola e agola ge ba i tage inga oge u five one em lense ne ge u kala ba pinta ge ba i tam go tunili. M Lens and Nigga West Billy, Local Aso Gushugu Tige Ibotswana, a young Robage and go seven one year on aggregating, can take a second round him. Ebotswana get Yasi Talaga in Nessim Pop, young Robage Lonaga E Botswana and go three one him. Um Lens ago, Wokala Low, Yasagi Buyaga, Um Lens ago, West Billy, Yasi Wage Botswana get in Kaoga Utunili, Kotoga Yasaga, Isulela get Pampili, go back aggregate score up for eighty three three. Ebotswana ge ine awe koli Inga koge bez tola ge be lagule msalo Kanti ge futi ilona loti lizwe Ebe tala ge uksala ge el sasele Egi ona ge ele msalo ge goba ge uso kumpulu guti Metoko begoe linye ge ilizwe Ebe tala ge uguti ge ilizale ge ele msalo 
bakotukile bapakishi mtwalo bahamba basethoko ephukina faso nayo futhi yapakishi mtwalo ayepurunti ke yelinye ke ilizwe ke kodwa ke bona ke bayadlala sikhuluma nje nayo ke lapha na ke i Nigeria hayika ka wini mhlalo ke iBurundi lokho kusho ukuthi bane ngcindezi enkulu kakhulu ke njengoba ke bedlala ke ne Nigeria nabo mangabe benga wini emthwalo ke izoba ke esophokweni ke bakhodwa ke bayekhaya bese isale yodwa ibotswana njenga ke nama debutants ekuwona ke lo mqhudelana ke umlando ongempela ozobe ke uqoshwa ke iyona ke ibotswana Echenin fan fake ofunu kamete yamthola owolweni yamshaya ke first touch oyalithatha ke lele yabhola ke mogabo othanda omdlali ke owenza izinto ke senzeke futhi ke lapha na ke sini esayo ke lapha na ke i Botswana Karabo Lamini 20 years abuya ke lapha na ke ithembisa nange manje unikeza linda amuhlalo angene ke emdlalweni ke we Burundi wase ke eshaya ke penalty Ebeka ke phakathi ke igoli ke lakhe ke lokuvula ke lomkhudelwano Thembi Khadlana Albuyisela ke yena ke Linda kodwa lifiki Kamete labuyela kumkena futhi ke Khadlana yabona ke bayamvimpha bangena nje phambi kwakhe lapha na Khadlana Linda oyilindile lapha na ke Uhlidlana bamnika nange sami kushada pha ecelene kwebhali awakushake eceleni ke kwebhali ke ukhokipha kodwa ke ubeyivalile lapha na ke inye post lapha na ke uma idumelo bosija ogijima ke yona ke i Mamelodi Sundowns yabona ke lo mhlalo angale ebhalini ke leningizimu Africa khona andile dlamini odlale le Sundowns ebhalini ile Botswana kukhona ubosija naye futhi odlalela ke iyona ke i Sundowns ogolkipha bobabili abayo ke i Mamelodi Sundowns Ekala ke emufa manje ke iyona ke lapha na ke i Botswana kodwa ayibhola labo ke liyona kala wayabathathela uholweni kholosa khadlana walidla ke sithende oholweni usama ukushaya lapha oyalibamba ke ugolkeeper abazama ke ukhahlela ke bekude lapha na ke o uholweni adlalela ke iyona ke i UWC osibulele uholweni Babili ke abadlali ke abagijima ke yona ke IUWC le enkudleni ngoba ke nobonge ka Gamete odlala ke yona ke i University of Western Cape Ejenin van Veki oyena ke ohola ke leqembu 181 caps anamhlanje ke egameni lakhe bathuthandeka abamazi kangcono ulishiya ke kujusi abambanani ama center back ayo ke ibanyana abanyana kamete nanke elishiya ke emuva futhi balibuyisela ke kiyena ke ubamba nani amaqembu nje alwela ke indawo ke kiyona ke i quarter final asibona ke ijubane ke lapha la lakhe unomvula kwale oyadlula usala phansi othu nompephe akasukume abamenza ngalutho ke iyena ke unomvula Ebotswana ke ibuya nalo manje lapha na ke Motshawe. Ase muva ke manje Masego Montjo. 31 years udlalela ke iPrisons lapha na ke Ebotswana ejibane bafuna utholakele bamthola. Awasamukhathele kude ke utholakele indawo ke ajwayele ukhathela kuzona ngesikhathi ke eshayi goli lokuqala ke bedlala ke ne Burundi waye nje ngaphandle kwebhokisi wakhathela ke wezwa ke ngenethi ke ikhale emva kwakhe yena ke u goalkeeper omqeqeshi ke lo mkutliswa nge awalo ke ilizwe ke lase ebotswana ale muva manje ke isouth africa kholosa ulishiya ke kugamethe uholweni ama teammates lawa wabuyela ke yena futhi ke uholweni ama passes awamahleneze nange manje ikhadlana ufuna indlela ngenkani ukhadlana ozama ungena ke ngenkani ke boxini ithola i corner kick ezoba ke eyoqala ke iyona ke ibanyana abanyana uyena ke uma sego monjo obese ke elkhiphela ke ngaphandle ke lele yabhola nange ukhadlana ngoba ke uyazazi unejubane obheke dlula awasefika ke lapha na ke umonjo wase elkhiphela ke ngaphandle asibone ke le corner bafika ojenin van veki bafika kholosa othuwa ke akayithathe ke leya khona abayo ke ibanyana abanyana akhwale uyayiphakamisa 
Funa makanta la po. Jenny van Veke. E ya buya futi ga ile yakona yinto. Ainkosi ke amakhona akhe la pa o nomvula khwale. Kodwa ke iyasinda yona ke ebotswana esefikile Jenny van Veke oyipheke nje le khona waphakama. Kodwa ke ube khona ke laphana ke ebalin elvalili bali. Almost more time. Was again is seen again. Can't tell again. Ion again. It was one. I want again. Which an infant fake. We are convinced. Spillioni. Nano. We tell you. I can't prune. Obazi. Ochoale. We tell you. Langisa. Kona. We kona. Which an infant fake. Obazi. You pagama. Ashai. Golge. Can't. She's by far the most experienced campaigner in this team for South Africa. But here comes Khatana now for Banyana Banyana. Good ball now to us. Your position. Intercepted well by Botswana. Shane, a free kick has been given by the referee. Officials for today in this encounter are coming from Tunisia. Dorsav Kanauti from Tunisia, assisted by Awuda Fene, also from Tunisia. Then a second assistant referee is from Algeria, Asma Feril Wahab. For today's match, match number 18 of this year's competition. This is the last match in the group stages. Nigeria is playing at the same time with Burundi. Nigeria, after losing against South Africa, they came back stronger and managed to win their second game against Botswana by two goals to nil. And look at the team overall. Sedilame. Oseja. A record absolutely impeccable when you look at the matches that she's played against South Africa when they played in those matches where she eventually saved penalties against South Africa at Orlando Stadium in uh, that Olympic qualifiers brilliant player a record over the years she played a double action was a Bloemfontein Celtic ladies first when she arrived in South Africa if we eventually making a move to Mamidi Sundowns ladies and they signed her while she was injured by the way they kept her there until they went through the whole pro process of uh, her rehabilitation that's how much faith they had in her that's a chance ball just coming off the upright she became the first player by the way to to score a brace for Botswana in this competition after Ditebe, who's trying to get the ball of Gamete, became the first Botswana player to score at the Wafcon tournament. The opener against Burundi. Now, here comes a chance going forward. Lamini does arrive. Lamini sends a long one. And that is perfectly poised for the goalkeeper. Sedi Lame. From a place called Tutuma Village. The northeastern part of uh, Francis Town. If you remember Cabello Dambe, come from the same neighborhood for Platinum Stars, Township Brawlers, and a Bluefontein Celtic goalkeeper. Here come on the near side, Botswana. Long ball this time, send long. Ball collected by the goalkeeper. She'll be celebrating a 27th birthday on the 30th of this month. Born in Shosho. In Botswana, Andy Lezamene. Match number 62 for the national team of South Africa. Conceded a goal. Soft one against Nigeria. Also another one, she could do nothing with a goal that was scored on both occasions. One against Nigeria, they allowed Nigeria so much space in a penalty that they eventually found the back of the net. Now, it's a good ball, this one intercepted well again. Muchawe does get the ball and follow through once again. Ditebe. For the mayors of Botswana. Janine van Veik. What a story she will tell. When she does eventually decide to retire, three matches now behind Ahmed Hassan with the start here today. She's been everywhere. 
That's the coach of Botswana. Amongst those, a South African. They call him the sniper. Sam the sniper, what you know him at the moment. One of the camera guys there enjoying football at, uh, in Morocco. They need to guard against Olagele. She's pacey, she's nippy, and she does her skill as well if you give him time on the ball. The confidence before this game, and you have the coach saying that we're just looking forward to the Morocco game. She knows she's coming here looking forward to the Morocco game and nothing much. Yeah, today they just need to try and hold South Africa and make sure that if they do lose, it's not a bad loss and they'll be okay because everybody expects Nigeria to do the job for them in that game when Nigeria is playing against Burundi. Unless a miracle happens and Burundi does defeat Nigeria. They've proven that they can have some uh, frailties at the back when now and then, Nigeria. Immediately after losing against Banyana Banyana, I did attend a space where they're all just complaining about Ibi at the back to say she's been there. She really is slow and was exposed in that game against South Africa. Gamete. Biana. Lamini cannot keep the ball in play. Lamini, not a young player, has grown so well. Another one from Tembisa. Plenty of Tembisa players, by the way, in this Banyana squad. Her debut was in 2019 in a game against the Netherlands in the Winnie Mandela International Challenge in the Mother City. So she played her first game for Banyana Banyana. Today she's playing a 15th game for Banyana Banyana, one goal in a game against Angola on the 3rd of November in 2020 en route to going to the final. South Africa met Botswana in the final and South Africa eventually won that game by two goals to one against Botswana. This is not what you want to see. Jermaine Siopo Senwe going to the ground. Fenelton Smith First told me about her way back in the days. So that is uh, the uh, head of women's competition there on your picture. Twenty-eight minutes of football played already in the first half of this game. Jermaine Sopo Senwe. Today she's playing for Banyana Banyana for the eighty-second time. She's making a debut. And she's already contributed a total of uh, goals in the Manana Colors also, just like the likes of uh, Tembi Khatlana. And they're also roommates, Jermaine Soposin and Tembi Khatlana. She's now scored 16 goals in 82 matches. Tembi Khatlana has a far better return. 68th cap today, 24 goals scored by her. Khatlana for Banyana. Biana and Huale once again loses possession. So when you look at what happens after this going forward in the competition, South Africa and all the rest know that a quarter final you just have to win your quarter final and get to the semi finals. That confirms your position in the World Cup next year. And those that lose the quarterfinals still have a second chance, by the way, to fight and try and get themselves to the World Cup via the Inter-Confederation playoffs. But first, they must therefore win the losers' quarterfinal matches for them to go forward into that one. So Kamet has gone down. A yellow card coming out against Ditebe for Botswana. The first booking of this game it was late. Paul was gone. Just came across, impeding the opposition. The goal, the referee was not far from the action. She was one of those squad that played in 2019, representing a senior team in a Kosafa tournament as part of the under-20 team. It's only 20, Ditebe. Player for Mexican girls. Set piece South Africa. Another chance for Juale to whip one in. 
as they'll all line up for the South Africans. Scotland remains at the moment. South Africa nil, Botswana nil. Hwale on the ball. Plays a football for Pakesol in the Spanish second division. She also plays a football. Match number 13 for Banyana Banyana today. Five goals to the good already in a career. From one of 17 players as well for South Africa. Absolutely nothing out of that. And that goes out of play, will come in as a throw in. Jermaine is in pain. I don't think she'll continue and finish this game, Jermaine Soposinwe. She has gone down again for the second time in this match. There you can see she went up. And immediately after landing, you can see she's still in pain. Once you put weight on that right foot, there's problems. She's unattached at the moment after leaving Braga, Jermaine Soposinwe. Oyabonage oya kumbisu kutige u tintegile uzobshungu. Obonage enomage enzage le asa inugutige angatige ngege sakuwa zige ukubega ge inaogo umshalo o seposene uzo kumbula ugutige ngeskatige betala ge ine Nigeria umshalo ge uokala ge uya na ge owashakala ge ikoli ngeskatige bei zage ngao ge lapana ge u atuani katige ngeskatige betala ge inaogo ipurundi watoli tuba futi loguti. Shaige ikoli ge elesbi ligota penati akege yasege ibanjwa sobona ge ugutige uya kwa zine ugutige akubege no mshalo anoma ge guzo poka ge ugutige utezri elisi enze ge ushi nchoge ngoba ge guzo bege enga sakwa zi ugutige akubege ge naoge umshalo emba nyana ikala ge emufa ge gie nage obampa nani ampane ushia ge eno kamete shoshela pambili ukamete Banige zaman she kuale, allo ni na angke man she ke esula, wase i pasan she kanane ya se i cha cha ke i pola ke i botswana, obelin ti le ke ka le ke ka we sok ne le, a te bi ke ta na go cha ke wang a pa ka misa ke ameso, allo ni ke ambo ne ko ba ke obe ye tu, na ngem pe la ke na lu shin cho, a ga mui ke i la pa na ke o che me ne se pasan ne gu ke na ke o kati e te. Amelinda akhete tege uye nage o tatege inta o ya kege ilapana ge o o chemeni seposenwe o shinjoge o poka yoge o lenzwage uye nage o tezri elisi na anke manchege no kuki pake ilapana ge mufa obosi cham be kanga chege basa ge ebel kipe la ge inkapan chege ipola. Lezo buya ge tuwa ge agube ge elayo ge i ningizimo Afrika. Kwa tuwa ge agan pose ge ilapana ge o kamete. Ea bapuka ge iyo na futi ge ilapana ge i ningizimo Afrika. Ano mvula kwale. E krose nse. E funa makanta la pabewe funa yena ge ilapana ge o melinta. Akha tete tege epoxi niko tuge ipola ge alang Afrika ge yena yena ge o akha tete 29 years awala pana ge m Tanzania australia sometimes ge la eka ya ge eningizi ma Afrika amsa loge ka 18 ge lo australia yoge namsa nje una makoli amata tuge ekrenchi ni ge lesiswe ete pia ke iya ingo 18 no mage 2018 Ango chula ige ngez katige bethala ge umsalo nje uobungani. Ane suide nige ila kala kona ge ukroga ge imbala ge ye kempu ge ele siswe. Aye na ge u melinda khediete. Ya bona makona akwale njalo afuna ge uche ninfan feki. Futi ge lia figi pola ge giena. Oche ninfan feki. Ana angula etintege kona ge iye na go kala. Ase posene. Enche goba ge ese puma ge imanje ge ese elimele. Rafilo etola gele, ni sige leli apola, o ya siga zuanti le tami no puma po la panage palin koto, wa sige limshi yake leli apola ge iye nage utola gele, ali bego pansi kutoa ge agube ge ikol kiki, ya bona ge unya olwa ke, lutinte gile ge ngempela njengo wa ge seven pandi shile, iye nage u seposa ne, ya bona ge la panage emufa. O ini lege la panage Veronica Mukhotin kwa soko kula, enjengo bage kipe lage ngapanti pola ge lake tembi ikatana ba ya mazugu tu ingozi, enga kuge ebem katile unekoli, alotoa ge gulemzalo, 
njengo wake elshaige ngeskatike mithalage ine purunti oye na futike lopeti pola na ange thula ange nage ngenka nige poksini uya ze tempa oke tana gotage itifensi ya se ebotswana ya legelela na lapanage emufa njengo wake melkipa nga pante na ngmanjege linda mutalo oya pega mutalo walpasa watolu kolosa biyana anai pasi yake efu nage uolue ni gotage aifigi gie nage o uolue ni Sizeke kile mthalo ke nchengo bage na mthanche Ku mthalo ke ka 18 Elo o thalo ayo Sisbo nege ama kolike au 42 Wonke ke ase shaiwe Ama penati no mage 43 Ama penati ke na oge Esa wabona Au nai nige wonke Ama penati ke Ese siwa oboni lega ntike umthali Au hamba pampi lige Nga ma kolike uye nage chepaki Wase e moroko ona ma kolike Ama tatu O tu lege umkekeshi O pegi lege uwa yoke Ilapanage i botwana Amo chawe Nga weso ngele O yae pasa iye nage unige za aditebe Awase to lege iye lokati Aditebe O yae luini pola chenin fanfeki Nange switcha ka mnanti manche ke ukolosa O to lege tempi O tempi gota ke angasi O bezo tu lege ganja nda pa ngoba ke Ente lege ibi faliwe Basage bel tatage ipolage ba alage emufa koko kipa abame tempile naige ose tempayo abo sicha o kapteni eskate sniki ge ipolage ili petoge iningi zima Afrika kota ge abagam testu koko kipa asebe nzesi bo nge ngempe lugu tige uko nge usem sebe nzini abo sicha ge epali nge elayo ge e botswana abo chusi yal pami si polago tam. Bafuna ke iye nage ukatana O ya alwa O nompempe ke na anke mla mlela O tike albu yege elelea pola ke Enchengo bage utempi ke tuwa ke uye nage obe thala gabi O nompempe ke utawulisa ke lo nage ikempu ke lase ningizi mafrika Ea thala ke ibu ya nalo ke iyo na ke ibo tuana E singi se senta kona ke tanda O kichima ke kui yasa kwinzi kona ke ila pa ebo tuana Ebo na ke ya batal basa ebo tuana Bonke ba thala ke ekaya ke Nga pante ke kwa ke uko kipa O thala ke kiyo na ke isanda usi Bonke ba thala ke kona ke ebo tuana A ba thala ba ninki ke ba kiyo na ke i prisinsi Asbo na ke ila pna kutike wenza nchani ke uti tebe O funa ke ila pana ke tola ke le O ya vimpa gotwa ke o bampa nani O vala ke inti la ke ya ke ela pana ke kitu meti eti tebe A 20 years iche pela O mtali ke o tempi saka kulu Kule kempu ke elayo ke i botwana Ngezkati ke bethi purunti na efuti wapala Eka mala ke kwa bashaye ke ama koli Angoba ke wapuma ke ene koli ke eloto Au kichima ke kwe Mexican Kelsey Oti tebe E chenin fan feiki E kini li paska chenini Ia msula O ya sule gage ugui kontrol lage Lapana ga ukwale Bayabu ya manche gava sebo tuana Na ange E thala ga bige futike uno mfula Kwale uno mpempe uya kuza Otike albewe pansige Ipola kubege elayo ge Ibo tuana 26 years him O thala ke umthalo ka 13 na mthanche ke iye nage ukwale una makoli ke ama thano E thale la ke iningizi mafrika Amo chawe O ya lpaka misa goto ke uya fimpa Ake kanta ke uba mpanane mufa nanke manche ke khatiete Asbo ne manche ke ichuwa nege la kege tempi khatana O ya lchola upege nege no moncho Lego 18 manche ke wasebu ya nalo watola mutalo Asa mokusha ke lapana ke umutalo gota lele apola bele nga tuwele nese Alisha ye ganka ke kase ke lele apola ke ila ke linda mutalo Lase ke ilipuma ke gute ke ina mapali 17 kolzi Eka meni ke ila ke Or kontrolega mnanti Kotwa ke ipola ke alanga kwa ala futi ke alanga ya ke epalini Gie na ke u kulkipa Oya teta manchege la paute zri elisi Koko nage akbo na yage onga hampige kasege umkekeshige we banyana banyana
Tolo sa abian. Afuna ge la panage uchadete. La sege elimshi ya gusale nje five minutes e ogotige siege Kevin e Bruno ikoli. Ambo nige ogotige si zolbo nage gle sompege e sokala. Nje gobage umambi la makwempu kunzima ogotige bafige mapalini bakatele lo kukipa. Sima bone besebenza o kukipa bubabili. Strong history between the two nations. They know each other very well. So it's always going to be a problem to see what's going to happen to Sile. Same goes for South Africa. They know majority of these players that are playing for Botswana. So it is going to be difficult to break. Plus, both are coached by former players of the respective national teams, former captains of their respective national teams. Difficult. One is 41. That is the coach of Botswana. One is 59. That is uh, Desri Ellis, the coach of South Africa. Long ball. And this one just goes out on the far side of a field. So far, this tournament has produced not so many red cards. If you compare the other tournaments over the years, first recipient of a red card was in a game between Tunisia and Togo. Giancarlo got a red card in an encounter. And was a red card also against Pomuntale of Uganda in a game between Uganda and Morocco. Morocco to a 3-1 victors in an encounter. Madinatu Ruamba of Burkina Faso got a red card in the 17th minute. And they had to fight very hard and perform very hard to try and hold off the opponents. And eventually it finished in a two-all draw. They could have scored a screamer right at the death. The Bikinabes, but unable to do so. Kuali, Mutalo for South Africa. Biana, Khatan, Zamin is standing by for the South Africans. And the last and the other red card recipient was in a game between South Africa and Burundi, where Anosiet Nishimiremama got herself red carded. Nishimi Rimamna got the red card. Here they come again, Botswana. Always isolated, Tolagele. Long ball, Diteve standing by. Away by South Africa. Janine van Veik, Bambana Nimbane, plays to Karabo Zameni, who finds Khwale on the far side, well read by Botswana. Khwale gets a second bite of the cherry. To the near side of the field now, where Kamete is standing by. Mutalo for Banyana. Khadiete to Holweni. Back to Mutalo. These are very young players for South Africa. Look at the two nations. Kwale. And then Muchawe lose a footing now. Olweni goes for a shot and a good block. Great recovery from uh, Muchawe in gone down and then got up quickly to deny Olweni, her opener of this competition. Did you to come across? There's Kaylin Swart. Thanks to them there. Robin Maudley had a start in a previous match. Mr. Sitter. That was eventually converted by Mutau, who's amongst those sitting on the bench for South Africa. Now, another chance here this time. And Botswana does prevent a goal, trying to sneak one near post. A long one again. Chance in! Glancing header just wide. Khadiete looking for her fourth Banyana Banyana goal. And a first in this competition. How close was that? Did connect, but just went wide. Khadiete came in as a sub, replacing the injured Jermaine Suoposenwe. Here comes the Tebe on the near side for Botswana. Refilwe Tolagele. Mutalo, Radio Kanya next to her. Back to Mutalo. Biana, 
Khadiete. Leaving the ball now towards Kamete. And a ball forward. Another stolen pass. And this one toe poked forward. Nobody there with the colors of Botswana. We'll be restarted at the back by the goalkeeper. Andy Lezameni sticks. Chance in. Ball in. Khatana. Still Khatana going there for South Africa. Trying to go around and mark a world red this time by Muchawe. Muchawe standing firm. Eventually, ball goes out. Will be a throw into the South Africans. That's the chance. Earlier chance. Raspeni Mohoti did well to cover the near post. And a glancing header from Khadiete just wide. Radio Konya trying to get there. Mbane goes in wide. This time for South Africa. Khwale gets the ball back now. Cut inside. Khwale looks up. Support coming in. There's nobody there. Eventually falls back. Again to Mbane. It's a long one from Mbane into the penalty area. Khatana cannot get there. Just strictly out of play. So that was trying something different now because they try to go through the middle. It's not working out. Maybe trying to play long might work out, but they do have a pacey pair at the back. That's a reason why Bonango Tahile is not playing today because they know the pace that Khatan and Ko will take and throw at them. Still remember Bonango Tahile in 2018, by the way, she was supposed to play her last tournament for Botswana. But they returned her. She does hold some coaching badges already. The captain of Botswana. Seen her play over 100 caps already for the national team of Botswana. As we come to the end of the first 45 of this encounter. South Africa against Botswana. Still nothing separating the two Sadek region teams after 45 minutes of football. With tender quarter chicken, grilled burrowvos, beef patty, crispy onion rings, and a full portion of chips, the Wimpy Meaty Grill is just extra. Because South Africans are extra. In how we move. In how we tell a story. And even apologize for things we didn't do. At 99.90, everyone's extra welcome to enjoy the new Wimpy Meaty Grill. When it comes to headache relief, choose new Nurofen Express Liquid Capsules, the first Nurofen Liquid Capsule in South Africa. Unlike a regular tablet, Nurofen Express Liquid Capsule has a thin seam which enables fast release. For fast targeted pain relief, use new Nurofen Express Liquid Capsules. Unleash the speed of liquid. As a runner, I trust new Vaseline Cream because it has three times the glycerine and oil to deeply moisturize and help restore my skin no matter what it faces. The hot midday sun, dusty windy trails, or constant friction. Vaseline deeply moisturizes my skin, so I'm ready to win. Try new dry skin repair cream for the deepest moisturization. It's amazing what healthy skin can do. We have the protection of Dettol. During winter, germs spread more easily. Protect your family with the regular use of Dettol bar soap because it cleans and protects from 99.99% of germs, shielding them this winter. Heartburn symptoms detected. Quickly, follow me. Burning feeling in the chest and bitter taste are symptoms of heartburn. Try Gavascon Double Action. It neutralizes excess acid, creates a protective barrier, and lasts up to two times longer. Gavascon Double Action. Expert heartburn relief. More than a few. More than a
After 45 minutes of play at the Prince Abdallah Mule Stadium in Rabat, Morocco, it is still goalless between Banyana Banyana and Botswana. If things stay the way they are, Banyana Banyana will have a date with Tunisia in the quarterfinals. And of course, for Botswana, they will then meet the host Morocco in the quarterfinals. But of course, there is still more to be played in the second half. But let's take you through those first half highlights. It started off with uh, Botswana, of course, making such a critical run and that was through Utolagel who of course scored that brace in the match against Burundi Simpio and Lulu no Gloria Brown still join me in studio we're seeing a beautiful ball that was played three passes that pushed and unleashed Tolagele into the Banyana Banyana half and that speaks about the pace that she possesses and the ability to play as a lone striker but Swana certainly having uh, 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 getting into critical positions but we're looking at her run being able to dissect and we spoke about the pace of Janine, she can't keep up, and uh, that was uh, re that was quite exposed in that particular incident. Yeah, it was exposed because we were expecting uh, Utola Gele to do that uh, against our defence. And right now we're asking ourselves, how does Banyana answer to this? And, and we're asking ourselves through the width. Do we have enough width on the left, on the right? I don't think so. But on the right, yes, Holwen goes wide for us. And in her going, going wide, this is where we see her get on the ball a lot. Because if you look at this moment here, we're in transition from defending, we get to win possession. At this moment, she wins it going inside and and this is important for us because she is mostly central midfield, especially at UWC. And this moment here, she's able to take that shot because she's more central. But then it means we don't have enough width with her going wide. And it, that is, is, is denying us an opportunity to stretch the defense here, Yebutuano. Uma Utubega, the halftime statistics, 66% ball position for Banyana Banyana, only one shot on target, Dio Lega Holwen. Yeah, it, it definitely speaks to the dominance of Banyana Banyana, but not being able to utilize the possession that they possess. You can't have 214 passes and going nowhere slowly. Mm -hmm. It is important for the t uh, coach to push her players forward and try and give the uh, trouble to the goalkeepers. Both goalkeepers have been on holiday uh, for either side, but Janine van Vijk trying to come from deep we know she possesses good headers and has a strong technical ability but again the goalkeeper doing exceptionally well yeah the keeper did exceptionally well she knew that she has to stay on her line and keep it as simple as possible i think it was magical for Botswana to keep a player at first pole because otherwise that would have been a brilliant goal from a south africa i think them uh, for us to turn a corner and make sure we get maximum points is that we need to run off the ball quicker notice the spaces and play quick passes combined to draw with one out of their defensive positions there is another group c clash which is currently underway it is half time nigeria lead three goals to nil against burundi it started off in that 25th minute and it was a penalty uh, that was uh, courtesy of the goalkeeper who was then substituted, Uira Koza. And of course, giving away that penalty and for Nigeria, Rashid Azangayens and Jay Iputa and made sure that she finds the back of the net. Well, it was expected that um, Nigeria will come out all guns blazing. They, they really picked themselves up in the match against Botswana. And when you look at experienced players like Rashid, just showing you exactly how a penalty is taken. No hesitancy, knew exactly what she wanted to do, got the keeper going the one way. And I mean, that was brilliant. And this is her again giving uh, Nigeria the width. She's got the speed, she's got the power. This is what she does at Atletico Madrid. Gets it wide to play that cross in and peace does not even ask any questions. She says, I'm there, Madame, I know what to do. And that's a brilliant goal. I mean, it's, it, it was really a, 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 a full flow cohesion. You can see the, 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 the manner in which they are in cohesion and, and combining well. This is the Nigeria of old that we've become uh, quite familiar with. Kanu making sure that as the ball is operating on the left-hand side, there's somebody making a run on the, on the, on the right-hand side. And when you get all your strikers making sure that they get the, their name on the score sheet, it's, it's, it's a good effort. Because defensively, they've looked solid. In the midfield, they've looked solid. Up front, 
they are really looking to be the team on song. But against Burundi, we also got to give them the credit and say one would have expected a lot more. So this is the standing of Group C. Currently, uh, South Africa still topping that with their goalless draw. Uh, they'll finish seventh if things remain the same. Nigeria, healthy six points. Of course, a leading 3-0 against Burundi. Botswana, those four points are going to be critical for them uh, to take on the host Morocco in the quarterfinal. And unfortunately for Burundi, if things don't change around for them, this will be their swan song and farewell from the WAFCON. It was expected, I think, in this group. We, we, we got to look at the big guns, South Africa and Nigeria. Botswana was also one of the teams that I believed was, was, was going to fight for that uh, third spot or the third best finish. Uh, Burundi, debutants, uh, they haven't outdone themselves. They will go home with pride. I mean, we are in match 15 and 16, and so far, uh 18 goals scored in Group C, so they've been the highest scoring, and it means Nigeria hasn't stopped because that right side of them has been incredible. Uh, Burundi, they've really done well for themselves. This is a start of great things for them, especially coming from Sikafa. Botswana, well done to them. Uh, Kosafa region, we're really proud. West Africa, you're always represented by Nigeria and Cameroon that are still in the tournament. Oh, it's going to be a very heated a second half. So much uh, to play for so far. When you include the three goals that have been scored by Nigeria, it is 46 goals that have been scored since the second day of July when this tournament came underway. So the question is, can we go get more? Can we surpass that 46 goal mark? And we'll take a quick ad break. When we do return, our commentators, O'Brien Mufugeng, Notulimia, will take us through the second half as Banyana Banyana look to snatch a victory against Botswana. Nourish your skin with Ingram's Moisture Plus, enriched with triple glycerine. For 48 hour intensive moisture. New look Ingram's, your skin, your brave. Introducing new Ingram's sensitive range to gently nourish skin. <laughs> Simba smoked beef flavor. That color before that seven colors thing. Simba, rose with flavor in a little thing. New Sunlight 2-in-1 washing powder with more foam cleans deep in the fabric of your clothes. Leaving them with longer lasting fragrance. Sunlight, more than you expect. Are you ready for a new spin on slots and entertainment? Enter our Betway Spins promotion, where you will stand to win a share of 5 million rand in prizes over 50 days. That's 100,000 rand worth of tech gadgets, vouchers, bonuses and more given away every day. Enter now, exclusively at Betway. Germs. Domestos is waging war and taking the fight to where it's needed most. From homes to schools, germs could be anywhere. But Domestos kills germs everywhere. Domestos. Unstoppable. Shield with 72-hour non-stop protection. It won't let you down. Amazing. I've been dancing for hours and still no sign of sweat. Try Shield for 72-hour non-stop protection. If your throat is so sore that even swallowing hurts, try new Strepsils Intensive Throat Spray. It's unique in three ways. Its new mist technology accurately delivers the right dose to the throat. It contains strobuprofen, which fights pain and inflammation. And it is clinically proven to provide relief for up to six hours. That's three hours longer than other leading sprays. For long-lasting relief, try new Strepsils Intensive Throat Spray. Modern abuse, modern 
South Africa, Ibanyana, Banyana, and Nayoge, Botswana, Gesia, Kefini, Ikolige, Singal Bonanka, Guikanda, Gubanyana, Ikanda, Futige, Gionage, E Botswana, Sopega, Jogutige, Izi Pige, Inkukugo, Abazo Senza, Jagobage, Escalage, Isompe, SSB, Lige, Abate, Kreshi, Nomage, Bazo Ketage, Gutige, Babuele, Konage, Ensiminige, Jagobage, Katege, Benjalo, Kotage, Izinto, Omage, Zimige, Ganche, Omsaloge, Umage, Pelage, Ganche, South Africa ke izo talage pezulu ke ngo seven points umanga beke betina ke betalage idrola ine chera siboni lego guti ke hamba pampi ke lapa ngo three nili esha ya ke iyo na ke i i purundi loko guba nige zam wona ke o six points loko ke gea shoga guti ke izinto izo talage chengo ba ke zinjalo number one is South Africa and number two. Iyo nage i Nigeria besege kubage i Botswana yabona ge abakuteshige ebabu ile enku kugoge asikas boni ge esenziwe nomas kona nomage aziko kapante ge kwa loluge obot poka olo nzwege iyo nage i banyana abanyana nge skatike kulimana ge ujemeni seposenwe gesompe soka la ge inda oya ke yasege itatwa ge umelinda akadiete ilona kpela o shincho ge esilbo nilege esompe nige esoka la E banyana banyana ge iona ge e kontrola ge umtalo anomfula ge uye na ge uchwa lego pete ge ipola aje go ba ge thami sa ge fage poxi no funa ye na ge la pa na ge uchwa ti ete go tom wa se figa kwa na ge e poleni aye na ge la pa umuntu el ta ta ge el kipe la ge ngapaje e poka ge guti ge agube ge ikona e yoka la ge le sompe ezo ta ta ge iona ge la pa na ge i banyana banyana ulungi sutonga ulungi sa i defense ya ke o kolkipa abusicha o ye isa na ge ba sa na ge short corner e ye na ge la pa na ge uchwale ba zamu katela nje ebe gute kote ge ipola ge la kolosa le puma nje gute ge kakulu ge ena mapali Akege la panage o obosecham. I could kick a captain him. Oh, why okay? E Botswana. A Botswana gay in Nioga and Campella. As in Selege is in Toga, Zabalu Langes, Katige, Ithage, Ipurunti, Apege Manchege, Ibonage, Abaso Kretage, Bella Pare, Gunampe three. Ango four points ge umanga bege umtalo ge upela ge enge draw. Ango shugu tige amakota finali. Azo bege ese kinsegi som. Ango bage e ukala vele kinsegi we asmo nge la uchatana. Afuli nzela ge la petrole ge eighteen. Kolosa biana e asim shai first touch. E pola ge elisangana no kamete. Basage beni ge sage la pa uolo eni. Na ufuni nse lage nkenkane na nge bafa li saka tsunku Wanige sake kamete Koto ge ipo lage la kamete La sake li pele lage ezante ni Ezika kolkipa o busicha Amke kreshige ilo nage uweswe Elako nage ilapanage e moroko 
Eke puke elayoge imorokoge ilona elingo bege yonkege imshaloge yabo la panage gu group e ba ketenge be no nine points abako nage la panage e moroko ba akom pisa ge uguti ge ba tale kaya aglu lage uguti osha ge ike puke el tala ge e kaya. Elisejo, Ratia Cano, Am Salige Oingosi, Ole Kempuke, Le Botswana, Asbone Manchege, Osbulele, Olueni, Oya Pega, Ulindi, Supporti, Olueni, Ose Figage, Ubiana, El Paramisi, Pola, Lisangana, No Huale, Bam Catil, Huale, Ose Tonagam Nanti, Manchege, La Pau Motalo, Nanga Samuksha, La Pai Talent, Quepali. Om Zamoge, Om Musege, Wakege, Linda Musalo. And we see Vegam Nantige, Lelia Pola, was so soon to get Pam Wakem. Etige Ulbega, La Pamu for Postim. Apola Gay, Lake, Lasege, Ilipumage, Etelenige, Equipani, Nalu Shincho. Okarabo, Samini. Oya Puma, Gungrenage, Etalia Smithy, Om Kuchimage, Yonage, E. Santos. O shinchoge elwes bili. O lo enziwage iyo nage elapana ge i South Africa. E abona ge manche. O shukuti ge vazo shincha inte laba tala nga yango bage usmiti utala la esuini. La enti shini. Kanti ge utamini ge utala ge lapana ge e mufa. Gota ge namtanche. O be tala ge pam gwa kege ukamete. Sobona ge uguti ge stini ge inte loge zake ge tezri elisi. Angalo Shinchoge Alwenzayo O Tule Upegi Lela Panage Gutli Swanki Om Kekeshige Uayoge I Botswana Abo Sicha Bait Alange Emu Fage Abayoge I Botswana Oyabata Telage Mutalo Polage elite manchege ibuyana loge la panage e botswana johannis la fabri pola la johannis el bueno kumete talia asmiti basage ebel tata spone manchi tuba la pa wa sabe zuko keeper amu sum samoge wake melinda katiete etige ulvale lage pagati otra go keeper unes pilioni Ope genche, begu ipe pasi, watike bona ngbula ale, ako kipage, wasel fagage ispage la, el kipe lage ekapante, litalage i kona, aye banyana abanyana itatwa uhu ale. Oya ipa misa, efuna makanja goto, liabu ya manchege ipolage, ilibu ya ge inayefuti. Atalia. Om kenage enta wenge ya kige karabo tamini enye futi kona kwale uya itata ge ilia kona uya ipa misa gote ge uya itata ge uko kipa wasege ebe mtinta ge wathana pansi ge iye nage ubusicha 26 years uthalo mtalo ga 13 na mtanche ge kwale uonga makona Banyana Banyana get a tatuago Uyena. A foot get washaga, thank and pella. Or Selenge will go to get back at the Lum Sevenzi as soon as I went Zile. A Yenage, La Panaga, Uhua, Lectuage, Albuege, Lepolage, Liso Posa, Ali Posage, Ionage, E. Banyana Banyana, Jabe, Kalaga, Emufa, Abampanani, Unigasage, Yenage, O Antile, Samini. Ako kipage wayoge i banyana banyana as gumsalwa ko kala waye usalage nayoge i botswana ko 2011 and geskatige ebi swage o kala ge ngaglo na ge itempuge lesiswe mva ba loko ga pindanga ge wapege mufa anshengo ba ge na manshenge esimbo na ge uye na ge ina bwan ko kipa aye itempuge lesiswe e pasi e gabiana aye ite neze. And I foot to get, we are born as you go to get in Tegile. We are born again in Amsanche. 
Ebanyana abanyana I convince je ukuthi ke iyafuna ke ukuthi ke fika ebhalini sha igoal asibone nje le true ball kodwa ke uyavimba futhi emuva ke lapha ke umkhotsi e throw in ye South Africa 1 2 epoxini Talia Smith walibuyisa manje asibone ibhola alaseke limcesa ke umelinda akhadethe epoxini ke nake liyabuya ngenhlahla lehlangana naye futhi holweni aka gcola ngo ke lele bhola ke lakhe ke usibulele holweni asibone manje ke nangu bambanani igameng ebanyana abanyana Oya ba puta go toge la panage o mukabo tanda. Ali di pola manje li funu thola gele. La sege li msu la ge ina ge ukur control la panage utola gele. La pume la ge inga panta ge ipola la ge tuwa ge abal pose. South Africa abal pose atelia. Asbo ne manje ge inga weso gusa. Batola ke imohlalo yamshayi first touch kodwa uphinda ke walungisa na asisithende sikahlahlana ebhola ke alangafika ke kiyena ke ulinda muhlalo balikhiphela ke ngaphandle futhi kodwa ke alibuye ke elizophoswa baya alphosa ibhola nangi esala phansi ulapha u bonke ka gamede Ono mpepege inange kuza utige albuyege ilibego pansi pola. O thaliswe gabige uye nage uutitebe. O yasebeza ge utitebe. Na alige ile pola ge elfu nchoge uye nage ukol kipa busecha. Etige ebona ngbulale. O melinda akadiete. O asege esebeza ge ukol kipa. Baya zana velege mbabili batalagi onage ima melodi santa usi uko kipa busecha anayege oka tete Oles pante oka mete Ozo kumbula ge ugutike ngapango ugutiku uziwe la e moroko uge watali skate site vele Elimele ge iye nage uka mete Enga thali ge gyo nage iu wc Anangu ge ina manje ge ules pante Get Chabli Sage Ubonage Abalante Be Pagamisage in Amafleki, Be Sapotage Ikebu, Elase Nigizimo, Africa, Bruno, ten minutes, Ohampile Pod, Epotini, Ecoli, Asilboni, in a Teguna Loco, Esibona, Oje, Ama Teclis, Teclis after Teclis. It is the nature of a game like this one here, too. Let's see a set piece for South Africa on the far side. Let's see how they're going to use this one. Long ball played in. Away again from Botswana. In the meantime, Nigeria having a party. They're now 4 0 up in their game against the Burundi. Uchenna can we score a, four, a second goal for Nigeria's fourth goal of uh, the uh, game overall? So, you know, Nigeria scored one against South Africa, two against Botswana, four today. Now scored seven goals. They cannot, if you don't concede today, it will be their second game in a row without conceding. The 11 times champions of this competition. Been there, the only nation to have played in all of uh, the WAFCON from 1991. You know, still played home and away. 95, they were there. And when he started becoming in a tournament in, 2000, in 1998, they've been there. So playing now their 12th tournament overall. And they're involved in their 14th edition. Nigeria in totality. The Super Falcons of Nigeria. They're the reigning champions as well. Having won it against South Africa via penalties. They had lost their open against South Africa before eventually coming out and winning via penalties in the final against Banyana Banyana. And it was an opening game as well in 2018, by the way, they lost by one goal to nil against South Africa. Khata now on a score sheet on a day. But this time it was two different scorers. Hilda Machaia as well. As Jermaine Sopasi, you know, with the goal scorers on a day against the Nigeria in a 2-1 victory. 
one of the goal scorers today. Did pull one back very late and almost shook South Africans. But he managed to hold on and walked away victorious. Yes, Gamete. He's got Mutalo in there. Mutalo does collect and will get them going. So Harieta today making a second appearance in this competition. A 20th Banyana performance or appearance overall. Bambanani Mbane and Khatane both playing their 68th cap for Banyana Banyana. Good ball, this one. Chansey in South Africa. Shot coming in. And not really much on that shot. Not much sting on it. Easily collected by the goalkeeper. coming out let's say second yellow for Botswana player in this match because Itebe also got a yellow card in the first half and both tackles have been on Holweni this time it is Balotanye Johannes 28 years of age from Sefare in Swapong Central District in Botswana, former player for South East Girls. Also one of those playing for double action in Botswana. Not a senior player in the squad, has been there for a while now in Botswana Colors. Since getting promotion from the under 20s. It's featured in it from the 2017 Kosafa tournament. I still remember seeing it. She missed the 2018 edition because she was injured. But returned. Khadiete. Radia Kanyo playing the ball wide. Tolagele is there. Apenanda from Tolagele. Johannes gets there. Holweni straight to the goalkeeper. So Tulsi with a change made. Holweni is actually slotted in the left back position now. Where Lamini was playing initially. Easily intercepted by Botswana this time on the far side. Good turn. Good skill, Ditebe. Good ball forward this time. And Lamini will come out for South Africa. Beautiful skill being shown there by Mohabo Neile Tanda. To release the ball and play it to Ditebe, who did equally good to before putting the ball forward towards a teammate. Some South Africa read the ball well. Now Khatana takes on a marker. Khatana still going. Khatana in the penalty area and a good recovery from Botswana to get the ball out. Mohoti coming across. Veronica Mohoti does get the ball out. She's known as Eto to those who know very well in Botswana. My player for Francis Town. Mafuka FC. Now a double action. Another senior player in the squad, 29 now she is. Chansey now for Huale to send in a good one. Away Botswana. Khatana. Bamba Nanimbane. Nobody there. Easily collected by the goalkeeper. Botswana's run has been quite good, I have to say. They went to Morocco slightly early and regrouped and got themselves ready for the tournament proper. And you could see from a performance in the first game that they were well prepared for this competition. And hence they find themselves where they are at the moment. And they're just moments away from a date with Morocco where they will be in the quarterfinals on debut. Absolutely brilliant run for them. Ball played back now. 
Well, Nigeria scoring a penalty today. That's penalty number 11. Been awarded number nine scored overall in the competition. Only two players have missed penalties. One for Zambia, one for South Africa. Khatana. Well watched, Khatana. Does well against the marker. Still Khatana going. And a double teaming on Khatana every time she gets the ball. Not one, but two players always on her. Johannes. Long one forward here. Bambanani Mbane for South Africa. Sends it back. You look at the matches, Morocco. If things end this way, take on Botswana, Cameroon. Will be up against Nigeria if things does end the way they are at the moment. South Africa will take on Tunisia. Zambia will be up against Senegal. And then in the next round, or the semi-final, so to speak, it will be the winner of Morocco, Botswana game, who will take on the winner of Nigeria, Cameroon game. The winner of Senegal, Zambia, will take on the winner of South Africa, Tunisia. So you could have a possibility where we could have two SADC countries playing each other in the semi-finals if both Zambia and South Africa, as things stand, advance the way they are. Zambia already confirmed as the team that is standing by. They're taking on Senegal as both nations have already completed their round of matches. Lauren Duncan. Thanks to the stands. She and Janine are proud owners of the team JBW. Girls. Tanda playing an early ball. Holwen is in there once again for South Africa. Tell you, from a look of things, if somebody was sitting and saying, Tuli, if one something happens here, I'll be coming in, they'll surely say, nah, the side of countries are just deciding they're not going to fight for this one. And the way the game is being played, because you can see everybody is just sitting in your own half, especially Botswana, they're not really going anywhere. And that's how they play the game regularly, Botswana, by the way. Gameta's long ball now. Chance in, ball drop shot. Kuala is in there. Still a chance for Kuala. Good block from Botswana. South Africa, ball rotation, trying to find an opening. Botswana have everybody behind the ball. Another free kick in a good position for South Africa. Botswana forced to get involved in those tackles. And so far, I've seen two, two yellow cards issued against the Botswana. Lesejo Radiakanyo is the player now who is in trouble. But the referee looks like he's just going to give a free kick and nothing else to the South Africans. While they're making a first appearance in this year's competition, Tulsi Lemia. She's come up. She's been a set-piece taker. She's exerted herself very well so far in this game for South Africa. But then they cannot afford to lose players, especially ahead of the quarterfinals. And who's this one now who's just gone to the ground? It is, looks like it is Khatana. That would be a huge blow for Desriel, especially given the fact that she already lost today Jermaine Soposenwe. Mushla King's finest and the reigning top player in this competition. And from a women's point of view, she's the top player at the moment. Bruno <laughs> Oh, yeah, Tinte Gage got again as Tempego Guti, M. Shalveni, Orlando Layo, Uncobage, Kuyaga, and Kokuya, Kunyuga, Omsi Mage, Buya Nugela, Manchege, Zipege, Kuma, Kota Finals, Ekempu, Lebanyana, Lim Tinga, Kuluna, Kalage, U, Katanage, Kule, Um Salo, as Monange, Le Frikiki, Oluene, Pesgue Pola, Ubiana, Pesgue Pola. Bonke, 
ekuteke ine palike ilake la panage u ubusicha. Aim supanga nje na kanga nge ele Afriki kim. Abia na umkete shim. Oya bo zuguti ngempena kuto bo enza ni la panage kolosam. E inji elega tuke uisha yake la panago abe finally polusha etuale. Eliaga kuto kipa simbo ne enza ge isaifu njogo ba ge iske sambo nam. Inge pola ge elsha ge ukati yetem. Owa pele ge owa kanga ge inge pola ge o kolosa biana. Etala ge iya short amanje ge i nigi zima Afrika. Atalia asmiti. Aliam tazi pola ge kolosa. Asbo ne manje ge i chuba ne. Elaga tanda. Basi ge ebebu yela ge e move. Abaya ge i banya la pana ge i botswana kono mtalo tazi fancy. We botswana. Amtalo koto ge we kubega. Aba tali ge basi ge bam kumbi sa ge unompepe wuti ge kona ge umtali ge o tazi fancy. Angbo na gati ge uye na ge ratia kanyo. Awe botswana ya bona ke elamakre mpumabili ali nyale la batali aba mkoka aba balegi ile bobabili nko bake eno kukala iba nyana ili nyale lwe usepo senwe ukatana na efuti agaga buwi na nkuge ene botswana manje aratakanyo ulimele otintegi ilege inaege uso kumpula ke uguti oshaege iko ilige nko mtaloge uaboge uokala betha ke iyo nage ipurunti Koko nage inkukuko ge abaso senza abase botswana ono pepe ge uti ge abapumele ge inaige inkapante aningizi mafrika anaizo gwe nzu shincho bazo faga ge umkati entabele ngmajia oye nage ozo ngena kusuguti ge utempi katana agase zubu ya Omaji yake uzo tata ke inta oge ya ke u khatana. Sizo bona ke ila u ratia kanyo. Ogo tige yena uzo kwa zini ke ugo tige abu ye. Oyange nu maji ya. Kichima ke kona ke ila eni kisi mafrika ke una ke ya mecho kutuna iti mti usha ama koli. Osha ya ke ama koli. Oye Hollywood bete super league. Akatana agabui kote ge astemvuti akubi angobi kufuli amtinga makota finalsi ele amtinga kubega la pampili kuona ge amasemi finalsi e abu ya manjege iona ge e South Africa mutalo one two lebuela ge na futi mutalo wasen fesa kago sokuza e pasi ya kego tage aikini le. Ya kata njega tega tega ya pasige ya kege ulinda umutalo. Oka metege ya buya ge uzo posa. Ya pola ge elayo ge i banyana abanyana. So respo nege uguti. Oma chia ge igu paso kwe zango bage. Nangu mtalo ge wepurundi wangale penchini wangena. Aye mata matachi zigli ya mzuzwa nage aye ange nage waithala. Na mta njege uno 20 minutes wonke. Eso mbona nje e uthala. Azo kumbula kutike nange sizi nethule la gui supaliki. Esho tike la keke ukolosa. Li pumela ke nga pate ukotkika ukotkipa uyan fimpa. Oma jia ke ube yang as player. Of the sizi ni nge sizi ni ke ethule. Agio nage Hollywood pete a supaliki. Osa mnane je 18 years ik pela. Eksa sa taka zile ke gie nage oma jia. Asbo nege ile kona, wonke fele, ama se pisisi, awa kege ukwale, angasi ge la, omuntu kutakafu nige uknonyo, angkoba ge wonka ubewe nsagase, ewa shagase, ele nage ya fele nje, ya puma ge ngale kwe pali. Etola ge ituba ge elogwe nzu shincho i botwana. Arama fifi ingi ambo nage ugotike ukona. Ola bage abazonge na bayam kipa manjenge u umukoti esalina na efuti kuyangena 
Menza ke inkuqukwe ke ezimbili Abayo ke ilapha na ke ibutswana akusho ukuthi ke oyaphuma ke futhi ke nomotshawe thuto ramafifi uyangena Ezo nage inkuqukwe ke ezenziwe ke iyona ke ibotswana nangu futhi Omtali ke ehlala phansi utholakele ebase benza abantu bosizo lokuqala kulo mdlalo azo kwezingaki manje ke ebengena ke enkundleni baphuma notholakele manje bobabili futhi ke lamaqembu kuphuma wabantu ababalekile amaqembu ababadingayo ngempela angoba ke norifilo etholakele Omsali ke odinga ke kakhulu ke iyona ke ibutswana two goals awavalele phakathi ke egameni lakhe asibone nje ukuthi eyena uzokwazini ke ukuthi ke abuye ke aqhubeke nawo ke umhlalo kholosa kodwa ke inaba bekukontrola manje ke abayo ke ibanyana banyana gamede esingise centre khona ujusi base ke benikeza ke uholweni bathi umsawawa Oya Vala Uolueni Oya Pasa Unigesa ke Italia Enze lage Ia Valo Anche Ekalula Ela Pana ke Emufa Oya Bona ke Usatlesi ke Nga Pansi Utola Gele Nga Pansi Utola Gele Basa Mpega Anche Abo Sisu ke Elo Kala Banyana banyana ke nai ke manje samukhlasela ngale ke ngakweso kudla ogamede anikeza ke manje lapha umelinda aphezu kwe Dilani enomvula lapha na ke uhale akholosa ke uzama ke ukushaya ke futhi ke ekude ebhola lakhe liphuma nje eceleni ke kwebhali anali ke le shot ikati ke bembekele ke elona ke yena ke ukholosa Abia na ke lasa ke lipuma ke tele ni ke kwe pali. Awasa ngobo e Eastern Cape. Aye na ke o kolosa. Aona makoli ke amabili ke pele nje e kanchi ni ke lesiswe. I throw in him. E talanche iya shorta. E botswa na kote ke ibanya na ibanya na angabi akseventi salo ko Bruno ko bine advantage yom tali. Unga pante utola ke le kote. Kombisi nje sense of agents Uguta samok tole ni Iko lingo ba labantu Uzi ba a shot that in as the exit See the chance now It might just be the opportunity you're talking about For the South Africans But ball collected again Kamete on the far side Now to see Ntabise Majia Finally getting a run for Banyana Is very very good indeed I've got to say So remember she was called up a few times but there were some issues around the passport and all of that. And she was unable to travel. Yeah, still, she's still the reigning young footballer of season when it comes to, uh, young player of the season when it comes to the old best Super League in South Africa. What she won last year. Also, she was the second highest scorer last season behind the joint top scorers. Both on 27 goals. Nyandeni scored uh, 27 goals. The same goes for Oyi also scored 27 goals. He scored 20. But she was in the pack for most of the time before eventually getting to that level. You also still remember that she, the season, she's amongst the top scorers once again. Talking about the young lady from uh, Filipolis in a free state. Mutalo. Good ball in now, South Africa. Khadiete trying to cut the ball back and a good defense from Botswana once again. The recovery is very good from Botswana, one has to say. Because even they can lose the ball, they do recover quickly to get there and tidy up at the back. Mutalo for South Africa. Short ball in, long ball played in. Chansin for Magia, just over her head. Polueni for South Africa once again. And a straight pass from her.
Botswana controlling things at the back. Player that is uh, marching in midfield for Botswana. Just another one who's been around it is a Mohabo Oneile Tanda. From a player for Francis Town United FC. Playing for Yasa FC in Zambia at the moment. She's been there for a while in Zambian football. And she's already scored against South Africa, scored in a 2020 final of a Kosafa tournament. When Botswana lost by two goals to one, she scored that one goal that Botswana scored on a day. Magia. Biana. Bambanani Mbane. Janine van Veik. Something that's lacking today is that Jane type of ball in the middle of a park to get the ball going forward. That is what is missing today from a South African point of view. Asani also, you can see the passes that she brings in on her, on her wings. Offside given against South Africa. Mutau also has proven to be a very good player in that holder play and going forward as well. So a lot to talk about from the players that we treated not playing today from a South African point of view. But those that have been given a chance today could have scored a few goals themselves. At the back, Ngomatlo is not there for South Africa today. And some other players, Robin Moodley started in the previous match, also not out for today. Lilda Mahaya got injured. And then Leboha Ramalepe. Not available today for South Africa as well. Here they are going for Motado in possession. Good ball from her. They in the ball shot this time. Matia! Good chance at Chansey. Matia the score. It was Juarez's ball came off the body of the keeper and the young lady has found the back of the net. Only a second appearance for Banyana Banyana. And what a story. Former international under 17 level. Scott Beauty is there. She shows exactly what she's made of. While a shot was blocked, but she was there to pounce on a loose ball. And Banyana have taken the lead. Those in the R for Richmond United will be celebrating this goal in such a form, I've got to say. That's while a shot. The keeper made initial save. Ooh, looks like a touch came off. The Botswana player, but she was there. She got there first. That is very important from Magia. She got it just ahead of Botswana player. And she scores in a second appearance for Banyana Banyana. Banyana Banyana won Botswana nil. Tolagele injured for a while, finally will make way. Khaunyadi Untlameti is the player introduced. I feel the Tolagele making way for her. The first change for Botswana. Anasi Chane is off. Tamma is the one that comes in for her. So Tabise Majia has scored for South Africa 18 years of age. It is now Botswana nil South Africa 1. Tolagele, she's in pain. The player's gone off. She's in pain. You can see. We are in the second half of this game. South Africa are leading by one goal to nil. It will mean they'll become only the second country in this year's tournament to have a 100% record in the group stages. Following in the footsteps of Morocco, who also won their three matches. 1-0, 3-1, and 1-0 for Morocco. South Africa 2-1, 3-1, 1-0 at the moment. But it's never over until it's over. Still a lot of football to be played between the two nations. Goalkeeper had saved the initial ball, but not enough players to react and clear the danger. And therefore, South Africa pounced and scored. Mutalo, Biana, Holweni. On the line, Magia for South Africa. Keeps the ball in play. Taking on a marker. Brave player, I have to say, Magia.
lot of injured players for both countries ahead of uh, the quarterfinals. Tabise Maji was born on the 11th of June 2004. So when we had the first World Cup in Africa, when we were talking about Philippe is here, she was only celebrating a sixth birthday. That's how young she was in 2010. Tabise Maji. Seven minutes remain, South Africa leading by one goal to nil against Botswana. Long ball for Botswana. Trying to get there. Isalena Khalikhuti, skillful player. Khalikhuti still going. And eventually being dispossessed. She's a former under 20 captain, Khalikhuti. Oh, Botswana captain at the under 20 level. To see number 19 of Botswana. Play the Mexican girls. It's now 21. Playing alongside the likes of Johannes. Those are the senior players. So the coach had a plan today just to try and shut the back door and wait for the moment to go on a counter and that has caused a problem south africa found the back of the net with magia the goal scorer while in possession going and sending flanks now towards the far side for south africa gamete finds mutalo maserame linda mutalo Khadiete for banyana banyana wine on the far side of the field again She's the youngest South African player, by the way, Majia, in this tournament. Only 18. And then Burundi really came with a lot of young players. So by the time they leave, when they come back, they'll have plenty of players. Salena Khalukhutli, from a Mexican girls player. She's now playing a football in the USA, by the way. Uh, the uh, number 19 for Botswana. So five minutes remains before we come to the end. Could have asked for a better story. A young player who has set South African football alight in her previous two editions and this season so continues where she left off. Comes off the bench and finds the back of the net and South Africa lead by one goal to nil. What a story. She will tell her grandchildren when she's old enough and she gets to her age. Tulsile, she'll tell them story about how I played and how I scored nine goals in the league, how I scored 20 goals a season before, how I made a debut at the biggest stage on the continent. In the second game, I scored a goal. Story <laughs> Sasa, <laughs>
Batrina she enya wen sabo loge manche. Enya wen ge sabo ge abayo ge banyana banyana. Chenin fan fake. Akamete. La sege ilona ga la ge ipola ge inka la ge inka weso gusam. Ali na ga la ge kuye na ge o khatete. Eyashincha. Ebotswana. Bayam keeper man shake or at your cano. Conkena get in and say a ballet. Our she took it, all in Swagge, Yonage, Botswana. A Melinda Catete, Ipolusiage, and Olinda Mutalo. A mapasses, Alinda, I have a tampile. I have a tangent. E pola je li figa ngempe la ge umthali e se kona wa se e botswana i nga konje be kwa zinje uguti ge ba fuge balta tenje galulam ango ba ge kuswe ku i pola ge la nombani al kini je pola ge li figa muntu ge la ifu nguti ge li e kona e abona ge manje i zinto ge kanga ne kanga ne ziatanga na go na makota finalsi. Ango bage izambia vele ene sinikali. Ase guse mtetwe nugu tige ibo nage bazo talage isemi finali okala. Ebo tuwa nage umangabege njengo bage izintoge zinche izo tala ene Morocco. Kameruni ene Nigeria. Ebe se gutige i South Africa. Ezo talage enayoge i Tunisia. Ewo nage amakempuge azobege ezalage ewo nage amakota finalsi. Ayakala ngole statu amakota finalsi. Eskatige asiko. Alinda motalo pege le paska no muaga motalo footi. Anjalo aifigi je ilaga ifunugu tige iye kona. Kotoge balungi sage manchege o juicy fan fake. And I get what we sell again, Kagoso with the Koluka met him. And now the Mutale one, she says Pansumutu, Pelunes Kilu Motado. I'll pay the passy footy, eh, my daughter, the passia Motad. As born again, Econanje, I help clean up. Cause of an elegant Ebamaga footy, Abayoga, Lapanaga, E. Botswana, ninety minutes is it again. I throw in a girl corner. Machia. I'm Salwe Richmond United. All we sell a goal in the Otaleli UWC. Layago choose him. Salel Santausen. When he gets a Ultamini, a mover, or Santausen foot him. About Saliga, Bonka, about Kichimagiona, Eolu, Pets, a super leaky. E bona ke ilaba ke abalithinta yo nanke manje ke efika ke inokhwale uhlale kahle kakhulu ukhwale anomvula oholweni unikeza manje ke u Jenin fan fake E bona ke lakhe manje ke ujusi ke lide liyavinjwa bayalithatha abasebotswana Echubane ke manje laphana ke ngakwe sonxele kodwa ke uyafika futhi ujusi uyaclean manje Agasa fundu tunje, aluzo mo shage ele clean sheet iya yoge i niki zima Afrika. Ache ninfan veki uya liega chego tike alpumelege inga pali bola, ela kige ila panege o tama. I throw in yes South Africa, but kina chige enya wenza boma chige ila panege o che ninfan veki. Abiana ushia kuholweni uyapheka no holweni ange shayi itayela manje ke uholweni anikeza motlalo seshintsha uhla khothi awube ngale ke ngakwe sokudla nangi manje ngala ke ngakwe sokuncele uholweni nange ligibela futhi ibhola sebe ligcina nje enya wenzabo ukuthi ke awuphele umdlalo abanga beke besalithola abayo ke ibotswana Batali one two manje ke lapha unomvula kuhwale amohlale nanke manje shoshe laphambili wasephisa ngebhola awaphisana ke ngebhola ke umohlalo 
liphumelake ngaphandle thiwa ke alizophoswa anali ke le goal ke lakhe umajia awasenda wena writing ngesikhathi si writing ngoba goal keep usebenzile kodwa ke wafika qala ke ebholweni ke o nthabi isenge majia wavalela ke phakathi ke igoal ke lakhe lokuqala alayo ke ibanyana abanyana asibone nje le minyaka zoke yokugcina ngci ayayo ke ilaphana ke ibutswana umuntu olshiya ke inake ramafifi bayabheka nje ilaphana ke ramafifi bafuna ke manje ke hlama bobabili ke bangene ke ngesombheke sesibili aramafifi ke inake uhlama ona umphephe ke wasayishakanye wayishaka bini wayishaka ka thathu ngaphela umdlalo ebanyana banyana ke inqoba ke ngegoli ke elodwa ke eqandeni elshawe ke uyena ke inthabise nge majia angomzuzu ke ka eight esuke benchini eshake igoli ke lakhe ke elokuqala aphela kanjalo ke ama group stages manje ke imdlalo ke iya ke kuwona ama quarter finals ezambia senegal morocco botswana cameroon nigeria South Africa and Nayoge e Tunisia, South Africa. Eyage kuma kota finalsi. Enga zangege ifi wege. Na wato ge umshalo. Kota ge sesio bona ge ama kota finalsi. Ogo tige aso hamba ganjani. Enta boge esias koka. Sis posa ge estudio. With tender quarter chicken, grilled borovos, beef patty, crispy onion rings, and a full portion of chips, the Wimpy Meaty Grill is just extra. Because South Africans are extra. In how we move. In how we tell a story. And even apologize for things we didn't do. At 99.90, everyone's extra welcome to enjoy the new Wimpy Meaty Grill. Melaiti, tiba in headache. I did hot soda and washing. Try ipo zonke ye flu. Yaks for me. No manini, no no go. Trust ipo zonke ye flu to release you from night flu related symptoms, including headache and fever. Met lemon is a salve. Breathe. Because sometimes one big breath is all it takes. As a runner, I trust new Vaseline cream because it has three times the glycerine and oil to deeply moisturize and help restore my skin no matter what it faces. The hot midday sun, the dusty windy trails, or constant friction. Vaseline deeply moisturizes my skin, so I'm ready to win. Try new dry skin repair cream for the deepest moisturization. It's amazing what healthy skin can do. Hi, Nana. The threat of germs is everywhere. It's worrying, ne? I'm worried about my family's health and expenses. You can protect your family and save on expenses with good hygiene habits and new Life Boy. Its active Silver Plus formula cleans and fights germs. Life Boy! Do you ever think of what your skin goes through every day? In game time and playtime. Dove Men Plus Care protects and cares for your skin with 48-hour protection and triple action moisturizer. Dan, I know that meat looks tender, but not so much when your chest is burning. Remember the last time? Yeah, wow, Bob. Your ring had been money. In any situation, Ina gets to work in six seconds to relieve the six symptoms of heartburn. Today is going to be a big day. What if today you score that winning try? <sighs> wow, today can be a big day. With Aquafresh confidence, today can be a big day. A big day. 
modern abuse, modern Welcome back. Well, Banyana Banyana have registered a 1-0 victory against Botswana. This means that they are unbeaten in the Group C stages of this Total Energies Women Africa Cup of Nations. This was their third successive victory. And of course, it means we can officially confirm that they will take on Tunisia in the quarterfinals next week, Thursday. We take a look there at the full-time statistics. South Africa with the lion's share of the possession, 68.8, whereas Botswana could only master with 31.2 we look at those total attempts really it was South Africa who had uh, all the chances six on target and of course uh, converting one through Untabi Singh Maji. I am Olizondo still in studio with us in Pew at Lund and Gloria Brown. We take a look at that and it was the dominance of Banyana Banyana that prevailed. I think mostly you'd want to keep possession in order to score, create a plethora of opportunities. But I think Banyana just, you know, uh, with the lineup today, just showed you they were not looking to go down the wings and all of that. They just wanted to push, especially the full backs, Ukamete and Lamini. But we did not see a lot of crosses coming in because Tembi almost uh, for 20 minutes, we could not see her until we saw her going to the wing to get the ball, get on the ball and try to play. But we couldn't really see a lot of fluidity because they were not running off the ball quick enough, identifying space and, and making movements to take Botswana out of their defensive third into defensive positions uh, from defensive positions so that they can uh, isolate them. But we didn't see a lot of that uh, today. For a large part of this game, we thought Banyana Banyana were playing for a draw uh, until the 80th minute when Uma Gia said, I'm going to put one back. It was two coaches that are respected in the tournament, uh, firstly, that came up and really brought on game intelligence. They knew what they wanted to do, which was, one, for Desiree Ellis was to finish on top of the group, and for coach Nkutrisang, uh, um, uh, for her, it was to be the third best finisher, because she knew exactly that she's going to be playing against Morocco. But when you look at the two teams, they really went through the emotions for most part, playing, playing for a draw, if you look at it, because they really just didn't bring their best game forward, were very cautious. You can even see by the statistics in terms of the tackles. It, it wasn't that fiercely contested match. But again, dominance of South Africa should have given them more goals to celebrate. But it is the business end of the group where you say three points are important. It doesn't matter how they come, mm -hmm. how we play. And that's exactly how uh, the players went through. It's been a grueling week. Because if you look at the games that have come thick and fast, it's drawn from the players, coach. And you can see tired legs. You can see players cramping. And you can see the players going through the emotions. Absolutely. And of course, now they have a, a little bit of a recovery period until those knockout stages. But uh, as early as the 13th minute, Sibone Owasebutswana Urifilwe Tolagele really must up such a great run. She was uh, the player that scored a brace against Burundi and right now trying to net one against Banyana Banyana, but it was just wide. It was just wide, and this speaks to the formation near Botswana. They played with a 4-5-1 with uh, a lone striker that was Utolagel, and today she wasn't really her normal energetic self, but I think it speaks to the game plan as well because also tired legs, and it's the same runs that she was making in the other days. The difference is that um, uh, uh, she was alone up there. Radia Kanyo was not joining the attack as much. Diteba was not joining. Johannes was not joining the attack much because they were setting up their rest defense, and that's why most of the time, they were comfortable with her getting that long ball because normally Botswana, you'd see them going through the wings, bringing the crosses. But in this instance, they went through the center so that she can take a shot. I think for me, uh, Tolagele really ran a soft score. She really drained herself against the Nigeria game, trying to impose. Um, and not only that, you also saw a team in the middle of the park that was just very cautious. I don't know if it's just the respect that was given, but when you look at this ball, they won it in the middle and they set a long ball forward, knowing that she's got the pace. She does have the beating of Bambalani Mbane, but 
the intelligence of Barney where she recovers very well. And again, for South Africa, the cover defense comes in very nicely to protect uh, uh, um, Janine and, 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 and Barney. But yeah, I think uh, at the end of the day, um, it, it, it was almost a very well balanced um, side. Absolutely. And of course, uh, in that first half, really, this was just uh, one moment that we could pick out from uh, the Botswana Nationals. But in the second half, we saw the South African Melinda Khadiet really try uh, to get one past uh, Busija. And uh, of course, Busija, you know, with her experience, was able to say, I will not concede. She has been outstanding the whole tournament and you see it by her handling. It's been very solid. Her positioning has been immaculate. And if you look at this moment, she realized and knows Melinda by now that Melinda will just hit you from any direction, from any foot. And this came when uh, 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 Melinda is on the field because she was making those runs very centrally. You'd see where she starts off. She starts very central. She chases because she anticipated and realized they are making a back pass. Let me go and press. And this was almost fruitful for her. You're looking at goalkeepers who also, when you go into training, the two teammates, they know each other. She knows Melinda's strengths as well because the way she anticipated that shot, it's almost like she knew that Melinda's going to wrap it with the, with the left foot. But for Melinda as well, showing great awareness because she picked up from an error, that ball just getting a little bit of a, a deflection from uh, the, 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 the defense there of Gaufetuchi and then trying to benefit with the snapshot. But yeah, a, a great goalkeeping that we saw uh, from uh, um, uh, uh, Bosija and that you can actually see being even her positioning when you look at it she wasn't really at the center you know but knowing um, how Melinda really likes to wrap them um, in the corners she 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 made sure she closes that angle all right, uh, well, uh, at that stage of the match, uh, Busija not conceding. And we saw something quite of a similar nature in the 70th minute. And that was, of course, with the Ukolo Sabiana. She was also trying uh, to get one past Busija. But again, the experience of the Botswana goalkeeper came to the, to the fore. Colossa Bihana for me has been the player that took the decision that she's going to shoot from range. She's got a good shot. She's got a good technique. She's brave enough. And it, it looks like she was given the instruction to say, after the break, take, take the keeper on. But this is a keeper that in the air is pretty strong. But then again, anything can happen as a goalkeeper. We saw in that shot uh, uh, that the keeper made the save, but she spilt it. Had she been directly in the goals, that would have been a goal. But was Biana's shot powerful enough? Um, it's not so much about the power, but where she plucks it. Because the reason why Busija couldn't handle it completely, it was drifting, it was curling away. You see, she's moving. And mm. the, if it was just, you know, if she was just a few seconds late, it would have been a goal for that. Because look at it, it's swifting away um, from the central part of it. So it basically a top corner by, by, by any means. And this is a, 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 a continuation Yaga Colossa, because in the match against Burundi, she came on, she hit the crossbar, and Matia would have been the one that followed up and scored from that, and that would have been her first touch. I guess boy to be papa la because Umatia scores also from the same movement where she follows up, she pounces, and that's the type of striker that we wanted to see on the field. And speaking of Umatia, the 18-year-old in only her second appearance for Banyana Banyana scores her very first goal for the women's senior national team. What a goal it was in the 80th minute when we thought this match was going to end in a goal, a stalemate. Bang, it's in. Good team goal. It was knocked from the middle of the park, won by uh, 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 Biana, knocked it about, and again, a predator's goal. You see the shot is taken, and the deflection by the keeper falls kindly for a, a young uh, Magia. We know she bangs them in week in and week out in the Hollywood beds. We were quite happy 
for her to see 20 minutes um, in this match. And what a way to, to, to announce your presence um, uh, at, at such a huge tournament for the 18-year-old. Um, just making sure that she's always at the right place at the right time, there to finish up. And as a striker, continue the run until that ball is dead. And she's showing um, that we have a bright striker uh, for the future. I think incredible for me also, Loli, is the fact that she was not standing to be right in the center or the chest of the center backs. She was always pulling wide and whenever she made runs, she was running into the space where she wants to receive the ball, wants to take the defender, wants to finish because in this moment, if you look at it, Melinda comes from behind and in Melinda coming from behind, there's a pass that came from Colossa there. She gets it immediately because of the awareness. She turns to see where is Melinda and in Melinda taking a shot, picking up where Gloria left off to say, as a striker, you don't stop running until the, the, the move is done, is finished. Because look at that pass from Linda. Uh, um, and and, and you, you, you look at how further up was also uh, And in her being so further up, it means what? There's two, three players that are in the box. Hwadi takes a shot. Melinda makes that pass. And who there to finish? This is why she's one of the top goal scorer, scorers right now in the league, in the Hollywood Bats League, and this is why she was young player of the season. Comes from our under-17 team, under-20 team, and now she's in Banyana. Kept number two, one goal. Hello. Hey, Shazin. And so unfortunate there for Ubusija because she does make the first save, but just could not uh, withstand the power of Umajia in the second. It's not only that, it's also the intelligence, Koli. Because, yes, as a goalkeeper, remember what, what has to happen. When you make the save, your defense has got to be there to help you sweep and clean up. And the reaction of young Magia is what really even just seals and cements this, uh, this move because she reacts very quickly using a pace, making sure she also gets ahead of the defender just in time to get that ball. And they needed that. Uh, they needed that. She had her fresh legs and she also was quite comfortable because when you look at it, she actually knew what she wanted to do with the ball, calmly slotting it furthest away uh, from the keeper. Oh, I know Richmond United is ecstatic. The entire country is joyous. A huge congratulations there to Untabiseng Majia for scoring that goal. And huge congratulations to the player of the match, none other than Utembi Hatan. To be honest, uh, we came here to enjoy the tournament and we've been taking uh, one match at a time. And that's why we have uh, different scorers. We have the mandate of the team is to take one match at a time and get the points. And today we saw we had three people subbed because of injuries. But everyone that came out from the bench did their work and we won today. Thank you so much. Thank you. And that's a huge smile from Utem Bihatana. But something important, Ludlu Akul Mangayo, is just the injuries also plaguing the squad. And it's because of that short period for recovery. And maybe at least now, until Thursday for the quarterfinal, Bazoba and Tlambenes Katinyana, just to recoup. I think um, winning previous matches for Ibanyana Banyana, <clears throat> excuse me, allowed us to be able to rotate the squad and bring in different players. And it didn't matter as much, Guti, what type of formation did we have on the field? Because we had players that could keep possession, could play, even though we didn't go down the flanks when we were through the midfield. This is the players' understanding, Guti. I mean, Rifilo Joana is not on the bench. Uh, Hilda Makaya is not on the bench. And uh, if you look at it also, uh, those are the players that are key for them. But I love that as a player, she's, she's, she's understanding and she's intelligent enough to see that it's not just the 10 that's important, but everybody in the squad, the 23 that's there, it's important for them to be in the team so that they carry on. Because remember this team, Chloe, we spoke about it, Duguti, they did not have a practice match or friendly matches yeah. coming into the tournament. So everybody does not have match fitness together as a squad. Yeah. To add to that, we also got to see today players being played in different positions and different roles, which speaks to the coach's selection about the versatility of the team that she has. And yes, we may not be happy with the starting lineup, with the formation that, it, that is used, but 
It is a business performance that you go in, you get the job done. Whatever the responsibilities are, you execute. And we're seeing exactly what Tembi's saying. It, any player that got on went on and did the job, irrespective. And yes, you're seeing players scoring around the park. We haven't yet had a single player who scored two goals in the team, but it's been a scattered performance in terms of the people scoring the goals. So yes, for Coach Desiree, going forward though, she's got to work on your Super Sengwes, your Khatlanes, we saw Olympinov right now. It is worrying. Also defensively, you've got to look at Nokumutlos. Those are players that you've got to game manage and player manage to make sure now we get into the knockout stages. It doesn't matter what you've done throughout this tournament till this stage, but now going forward because any mistake is going to be punished and if you don't win your next game, you pack and you go home. It is do or die in the quarterfinals. And remember, for Banyana Banyana, they have to make sure that they move through to the semis so that they automatically qualify for next year's FIFA Women's World Cup. We'll take a quick ad break. When we do return, we hear from the winning coach, Coach Desri Ellis. And of course, we confirm those quarterfinals that will be staged next week. with 72-hour non-stop protection. It won't let you down. Amazing. I've been dancing for hours and still no sign of sweat. Try Shield for 72-hour non-stop protection. Germs. Domestos is waging war and taking the fight to where it's needed most. From homes to schools, germs could be anywhere. But Domestos kills germs everywhere. Domestos. Unstoppable. Wow. 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 Every tone can be beautiful when it's flawlessly radiant. New Pond's Flawless Radiance with Smart Tone technology fades blemishes and uneven patches with SPF protection for flawlessly radiant, even toned skin. So your skin tone can look wow. wow. My glow is my power. And I power up my glow every day with my daily ritual of self-care. With Lux Soft Caress, infused with jasmine and glycerine for nourished, glowing skin. Bring out your glow wherever you go. Lux. Modern abuse. Modern Botswana, as the debutants of the women's AFCON have made it through to the quarterfinal stages as the third best finishers. Let's hear from the ecstatic coach, Khailu Toho Nkutisang. Um, thank you very much. I mean, though, maybe we, we lost the game, but I thought um, it was uh, our game plan. Yes, first half, uh, we did very well in terms of not allowing uh, maybe SA to, to have spaces 
also through passes. Um, but also, uh, since you know that we had maybe three cuts of three yellow cards uh, in some of our players, so second half we, we preferred maybe to, to rest them. It's one of the achievements as Team Botswana because looking at our, it, it is our first time maybe being here, um, we are through. Then we will, we will be looking at uh, Morocco for now. I mean, for, for we'll be looking for, yes, we're playing Morocco again. Yeah, we'll be playing for Morocco. We'll be looking for Morocco. So this game, I think maybe it was a preparation for, for the, for the game with Morocco. Maybe we're just looking at the the game between maybe Burundi and Nigeria. Then we, uh, the result from their side. Also, we took them. Also, uh, making sure today we don't consider with a lot of goals, because that's one thing that uh, in the in our plan we looked at, we looked on it and say if uh, maybe we can get a draw in this game, uh, maybe one go or oh, draw. So. I think I think even though even if well, we lost the game, I'll just say a big up to the girls. They played well. But yes, we have a lot of injuries. But I think it's just a matter of maybe um, uh, um, games maybe we we too close. Maybe I may say because most of most of the players maybe they they played most uh, most games. Um, but I can say. Generally, generally it wasn't. It wasn't uh, because we had more, more squad. Maybe the coaches, maybe we, we didn't give uh, others chance. But if, if you know that maybe you you if you know that maybe 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 you 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 your first eleven because also you're looking at uh, achieving uh, achieving in terms of groups. So I think I think maybe it's it's something that you can look on on that side. The mayors of Botswana have made history qualifying for the quarterfinal stages in only their first appearance in the AFCON. And there, in terms of coach Khailo Toho, really saying that the aim for today's match was at least a draw, or if they are to lose by a small margin. And this is really what they achieved, uh, losing only 1-0 to Banyana. She's done her homework very well. She knew exactly what she wants to achieve with the team. And that is why it's very important for you to basically kind of uh, design the way you're going to play and how and whom you're going to play. We're looking at the coach also talking about the lack of the rotation of the players in, in a team, which has resulted in a, in, a, in a huge cost because now you've got a lot of her key players that are injured. And that is because when you look at the first game, she won it quite convincingly. Use the very same players in the second game which was against uh, Nigeria. And that was when they really exerted themselves or overexerted themselves because Nigeria, on the other hand, were desperate now to get back into the tournament. And in that match, it was quite a bruising encounter. Today, they had to take their foot off the pedal and say, we got our win. Let's go in and play for a draw. We'll take it very easy. And you can actually see they were quite content with a draw. And just to keep Banyana at bay, and even if they lose, not at a big margin. And, and before this match, she mentioned that we will be playing Morocco, you know, uh, uh, the host. Uh, but, but also we look at when they're going to be playing. Morocco already has an extra day in terms of recovery uh, on Wednesday. Whereas for them, it's one less day with the injuries that she's spoken about as being a problem in the squad. I think the moment you qualify for a tournament of this magnitude, Koli, you, you start planning better. You do what we call tournament assimilation. This is where you try to play friendly matches back to back. So they're playing every two days or every three days. So my friendly worker will come into that with your squad. And that way you'll be able to see a training load prior to a game. You'll see recovery. How long do the players recover when it comes uh, between the matches? It will help you to see how long or what do you need or find strategies to prep for the next game. So usually if you do tournament assimilation, it helps you to gauge and see who survives, who doesn't survive.
five. And then you find strategies to say, oh, I can rotate my games like this. I know which opposition I'm playing. So nama, nama friendly wako, you pick teams that will be closer to the type of opposition you're going to play in the tournament. So that you anticipate, when we are relaxed, if the injuries come in, when I do this, what needs to happen next? Because the coach, your key players, you don't want them injured. You don't want them yellow carded. And the other players in the team, you want them fresh so that when they come in, it's a replica and you just hit the ground running. Ah, Nizuele. Tournament assimilation highlighted, underlined in bold. That is the takeaway for this evening. Uh, but of course, there is no other coach that will be as happy as Desiree Ellis. It's a 100% win record in the group stages, a full complement of nine points. And now they will take on the third best finishers, Tunisia, in the quarterfinal on Thursday. Let's hear from Ellis. Good evening. We wanted to make sure that we end on top. We didn't want to leave it for permutations knowing um, at half time the score is 3 on the other side. So we wanted to make sure that we stay compact. We wanted to make sure, um, you know, that we, that we keep our composure. Um, I think we did not really um, get going in the first half. We tried to get going, had a couple of chances. Did not happen. Um, I said the squad is very versatile. Um, we then made a couple of changes which was enforced. Mm. And uh, it really brought the best out of the, of the group. And we started controlling the game, controlling the tempo, creating a couple of opportunities. And uh, what a uh, good goal for and Tabi Singh, the, the deputant from the last match, getting a first goal. And you could see the joy on the pitch. Um, happy with the result. Um, happy with the performance. I thought it was much improved from the first from the game against Brundi. And that's all we asked for. First question. You might say they're not a force to be reckoned with, but they're at the African Women's African Cup of Nations, and they're not here by chance. As we said, we looked at other matches, Togo drawing with Cameroon. Who would have thought that that would happen? And teams come here prepared, teams come here organized. Yes, we had many opportunities against Burundi, which we should have put away, which we did not. At the end, we got the three points. Sometimes it's, we want to play the best football that we can. Sometimes you have to give credit to the opposition as well where they don't allow you to play that and you have to find other ways of getting the result. And I felt that we took control of the game against Botswana in the second half. I think we played the football that we wanted to play because we controlled the tempo, we controlled everything. Um, they just sat back and, play, and we, we knew that they were going to play on the counter. Um, we knew that they were going to try and look for, for, for the number seven. We knew that they were going to try and try and find the number ten. We knew that they were going to play long. We needed to be prepared for that and when you can settle that down and take control of that, you can take control of the game and each and every game is different. So we cannot compare the first game to the second game to the third game because it's different opposition. If you look at our lineups, we've changed it four or five changes to make sure that we keep the freshness. So obviously playing other people, they take time to settle in, but once they settle in, the game goes okay. So you have to make sure that you keep the team fresh, that you also give play other players because you need to make sure that your whole squad stays focused, your whole squad is ready for every eventuality. And I think we did that brilliantly over the couple of games. We managed to play some players 290s and rest them. Some played 190, rested, played and gained 190. So we wanted to make sure that we get the three points, that we stay top, but that we have freshness going into the next round. There's no second chance in the next round. So if the fresher we can keep our players, the better it is for us. We got the three points. We'll then celebrate tonight and then work towards the, the next game. No second chances in the next round. And, uh, you know, the coach, uh, Desiree Ellis, really emphasizing the importance of getting fresh players and rotating the squad. Yes, it is three wins in this Group C stage. But are you happy with how the wins came across for Ibanyana? I'm happy because we are not playing robots. We are not playing our friends. Uh, we were playing opponents that also wanted the same results, which is to win. So the resistance was different to what we get at training. So I'm happy with how we responded, how we also adjusted, because the coach spoke about it at different formations, different players that we've put on the field. I've seen us play with a 4-3-3, with a 4-5-1, with a 4-4-2, which was more impressive for me because where it matters the most 
we showed what we are capable of against Nigeria, against Burundi, and now against Botswana. Different types of opposition. We adjusted and we got maximum points. That's all I care about. And, and also speaking about not undermining the opposition, especially when you look at a Tunisian side who finished as third best finishers, but not to say it will be a walk in the park. Holly, one's got to give credit where credit is due. And, and, and you're looking at a South African technical team that has really done their homework. Behind the scenes, what they do is, is intense. And they've studied the oppositions. And yes, her talking about the, 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 the player uh, flexibility in terms of rotating the squad, the freshness. And it goes back to how she planned the tournament to say, I win my first game. And then I decide, how do I want to play it in the group stages? Says, I wanted to finish top. She's achieved that. And now it's the time to go back and press reset to say, we're now in the business end of this tournament. It's bringing, doing all or nothing because there's no second chance at this point. So you then have your fresh players coming into the side. And yes, with the team that she's possessed, you're starting to see players playing in different positions, players being uncomfortable but then settling and and that is showing maturity of the players that she has at her disposal mm. and of course in the other encounter it was the super falcons of nigeria who dominated burundi they inflicted a four nil drubbing to the debutants and of course it started off in that 25th minute rashidat ajibade scoring through a penalty kick and then after that the floodgates were open um, you know, tournament campaigners and gold medalists in different competitions in Africa and qualifying for international standard, uh, standardized competitions, this is how you do it. How you start is not how you end. And I think in Nigeria, they found their tune. And it's because the coach has given the belief to Rashidat on the right. She can play in center mid on the right. She can also go up front. Kanu came on. She's got a brace. This means which Nigeria are coming together and are enjoying the type of football they are playing. But they were not tested much by Burundi. I also think, you know, at times you could be saying that one man's food is another man's poison. Perhaps the loss to Ashola has given the, the, the floodgates and the opportunity to, 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 to Ajibade to shine in this tournament. And you got to see a, a, a strike force that was really going out at all cylinders. And of course, uh, for Kanu scoring a brace there for the Nigerians uh, to make sure that they walk away with that 4-0 victory. They finish runners-up in Group C. And in fact, the highest scoring nation in terms of Group C having scored a seven goals. So really impressive. It's not how they started that matters. It's how they've ended because it means that now Cameroon beckon in the quarterfinal stages. Let's take a quick ad break because after this, we need to show you what the action Action is going to be next week, Wednesday and Thursday. Who is going to be up against who? Today is going to be a big day. What if today you score that winning try? Wow, today can be a big day. With Aquafresh confidence, today can be a big day. A big day. Melody, fever and headache. I did go so hard that wash it. Try it for zonke ye flu. Yes, but me, no money, me, no no go. Just it for zonke ye flu to release you from night flu-related symptoms, including headache and fever. Met lemon is a solve. Nourish your skin with Ingram's Moisture Plus, enriched with triple glycerin. For 48 hour intensive moisture, new look Ingram's, your skin, your brave. Introducing new Ingram Sensitive Range to gently nourish skin. No fun today, battling with our sinuses and a flaming cough. Mucus buildup in the airways can cause painful blocked sinuses and a cough. Oh no, have you tried ACC? 
It's now also available in an oral solution. Whether you prefer an effervescent or a syrup, there's an ACC for you. ACC gets to work fast to break down mucus and phlegm to help you feel yourself again. Sick of the snotties and flemings? Use ACC effervescent or oral solution. Soaps only clean. Creams only moisturize. Dove Body Wash does both with skin natural moisturizers. It cleans your skin like a soap and moisturizes it like a cream. Dove Body Wash. Soft and smooth the skin after every shower. Breathe. Because sometimes one big breath is all it takes. Hold. Breathe. Doug, I know that meat looks tender, but not so much when your chest is burning. Remember the last time? In any situation, Ina gets to work in six seconds to relieve the six symptoms of heartburn. You make the world go round and can't afford to let pain get in your way. You need fast, effective pain relief that gets ready to work in 10 seconds on the go. It's the same grandpa you trust. Grandpa, trusted for over 100 years. It's the same trusted grandpa, same quality, same quantity. Now in a sealed stick pack. Modern The 2022 WEFCON quarter finalists have been confirmed. South Africa, Nigeria, Botswana, they are all through to the knockout stages. For Burundi, it is done and dusted for this tournament. Zambia will take on Senegal next week, Wednesday, kickoff 7 p.m. Morocco, the host, are up against debutants, Botswana at 10 p.m. Cameroon, the three time finalists, they take on the defending champions, Nigeria at 7 p.m. on Thursday. And of course, South Africa, they will take on Tunisia at 9 p.m. on Thursday, yay! Who's a big woman? Who's a big woman? Happy birthday to Gloria! Happy birthday, Gloria! And it's a beautiful gift in terms of the three points from Banyana, right? Yes, it was. What a present, and I appreciate it. Thank you very much. <laughs> stay tuned and stay with us. The best place to be. Oh, absolutely. We are all smiles. Banyana Banyana in action next week, Thursday. That's how we wrap that from the studio here in Auckland Park. Thank you so much to our birthday girl, Gloria Brown, to Simpio and Lulu, the team upstairs, downstairs. From myself, Ukoli Zondo, it is good morning. This program is rated 13. Viewer discretion is advised.